Hollywood, California, Meltdown Comics. Hermantown is now in session. Please keep those applause going for your dungeon master, Mr. Spencer Crittenden. See him scurry to his table. That was good scurrying. That was almost a scamper. How you doing, Spencer? I'm good. Are you ready to bring out the mayor, Spencer? Yeah. Let's say it together. Sam Harvey. Why, why do I come in from the back? I, at this point, it's kind of it's really dumb. There's a tripod in my way. It doesn't seem... If we're, we're going to do that, we need a jib camera that, 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 yeah. that tracks you as you come in or a steady cam. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're tweaking the format here. I thought, it, let's bring Spencer up at the top of the show instead of saving him for dessert. I really know? mangled this guy's leg, too. Oh, really? What, yeah. you step on a... Oh, by this guy? Stepped you mean, all over you it. Mean, it you mean... Oh, wait. Th oh, this guy? I'm glad I could help. I thought it was Anatoly. I was going to say, deserves it. Because <laughs> Anatoly, like, like his feet touch the back wall. Like, he sits in the front row, and he puts his big Russian legs ac across the stage. I would, I would make a joke about Russian history, but they've always been invaded. It's like the, it's like the stage was the Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, th and, and this back wall was the Black Sea. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's the joke I would have made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just kept thinking about Napoleon. I'm like, well, that's not, this is not going to work. Um, <laughs> all right, anyways, uh, you remember Napoleon, right, Anatoly? Right. <laughs> is, that, is that a sore subject for Russians, the Napoleonic Wars? Sh sure it is, yeah, sure. No, 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 you, you, you beat him. You kicked, you kicked his butt. You, you, you sent him packing back home to France. All right, let me see. Let me see if this is working. Okay, all right, great. This is working. Okay, so... All right, so my Twitter notifications are on. I kind of panicked last time. They're on. But if you'd like to tweet at me, I won't yell at you. It's, it, should, it should tap my wrist just a little bit, and I can look, and I can go, oh, good question. Uh, uh, Allison Bree is very nice. <laughs> Something like that. So try not to abuse your power. Don't be smart, Alex. Actually, you in the audience, please just be in the room with us, will you? Don't sit there and tweet at me. I'm talking to the people uh, at, at, at home on the, on the laptops. <coughs> oh, see, it's a, it's, okay. All right. Is it happening? All right. Has it already me, happened? You, well, just give me one second. Well, I was going to... Can we have it make a little noise? Oh, there's two notifications. Annoying? Hi, Dan. Sorry to be annoying. What will you be doing while Aaron is in Ireland? Uh, I'm, I'll be playing Witcher 3. <laughs> Is she in Ireland right now? No. Oh. She's in St. Louis. Uh, looking sexy tonight. <laughs> Hashtag in the room. Okay. <laughs> that was Spencer. That was totally Spencer. It's oh, a, it, yeah. It's a dude. It's Huey. All right. Well, okay. Huey. <laughs> more... more <laughs> Uh, sports Corner, R.E. U.S. Open. U.S. Open? A Sports Corner about the U.S. Open. Uh, okay. Y y shall we? Okay. All right. Sports Corner! Oh There's nothing wrong music. We need, we, need, we need Sports Corner music. Hold up. Hold up. Also, women's uh, soccer, right? Yeah, women's World Cup. Yeah, here we are. Sports Corner, gotta hit the ball, gotta make it go far in the seasons of fall. Go in the summer and spring, gotta do sports, gotta do your thing. I like to jump real high, I like to go real low, I like to go across the ice, I like to go across the snow. Winter, Olympics are done, but Sports Corner is still kind of fun. Oh! Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I agree. Now, Dan... Sadly, I missed the e the uh, the ending of the U.S. Open. Maybe you could tell us what happened. Uh, First of all, maybe you could tell us what sport it is. Well, I mean, it's the important thing is that it's it's is that it's 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 American and it is open. Right. 
to everyone who plays the sport. Like, there is no discrimination. That's the spirit of the U.S. Open. Like, it's not private. It's not. It's you can just you can just play. If you play, you you just come and play. Can can women be in it too? If it's the women's U.S. Open, yeah. It's not. It's not. No. So no. <laughs> Uh, but tra- trans men. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing about the sports that the U.S. Open was uh, was celebrating today? Well, I mean, it's just as you know. <laughs> like everything comes down to where that ball is, right? Absolutely. And so it, far, you're a hundred percent right. <laughs> And it's just like the the idea is to get the ball where it needs to be. Yeah. Which which is where specifically? Well, you want to. What's the destination for this particular ball? I think the important thing is that you want to do a better job of getting it there than your opponent. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're done here. I, <laughs> I think it's 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 either tennis or golf. <laughs> it's golf. Okay, it's golf. I knew that. Who won the thing? Did anyone know? Uh, Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin won. The anatro- an- animatronic bear from our childhood. <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin won. That, that really is open. Yeah. See, anyone can do it. Who, who won? Anyone know? Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth won. All right. Jordan oh. Speed. Spieth. Spieth. What did you think, Dan, about the guy, uh, is it Jason Day, who, uh, who had vertigo and a couple days ago absolutely passed out because he has crazy vertigo, went down like on the 16th hole, managed to pull himself back together, finished the round, and then he almost, he, he was in the running the whole way through, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Our fans don't give a shit. <laughs> well, I don't know how, many, how, much, how much points uh, overcoming vertigo should get you in a sport where you, you walk around and hit a ball when you feel like it. <laughs> Is, is, uh, like, like I, if I was a football player and I suffered from vertigo, my doctor would tell me, why don't you try golfing? <laughs> Go walk around on some grass until you feel better. So if while you're doing that, you win a golf tournament, I'm not going to go, plus, he's so special. <laughs> like, well, he was here because he can't play football. How do you feel about the U.S. Uh, Women's uh, World Cup right now? I mean, uh, the, the Women's World Cup, uh, all-inclusive, the whole world. The women, the women's soccer. World Cup would soccer, be soccer, yeah. football as we call it. <laughs> Those of us who are into soccer, we don't we don't call it soccer. It's like calling San Francisco Frisco. Uh, I think it's great, Jeff. Uh, those those ladies are out there. They're doing it just as good as ladies can. <laughs> yeah. Which might be better than men. You projected that onto me. Spencer, are you following the uh, the World Cup? Uh, no. Are they playing? Yes. <laughs> the World Cup is playing against FIFA this week, aren't they? Yeah, the wor- it's one of the weirdest matchups. The yeah. World Cup is playing FIFA. What country is FIFA? That's Brazil versus the U.S. It's going to be great. <laughs> FIFA. All right. Dumb I, sports corner. I love I love the world uh, women's World Cup. There was a woman playing today, and I'm just adolescent and puerile and stupid enough to have enjoyed the fact that there was a woman playing for Austria whose name was Dick and Men. <laughs> Dick and Man on, her, on the back of her thing. There's also a girl named uh, Tamika Butt. Yeah. <laughs> but. Tam- <laughs> <laughs> Tamika Butt. She did a good Tamika job. Tamika Butt. It's poor Tamika Butt. All right. <laughs> Oh, what happened to your glasses, says Anna Marie. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I think they I left them at the, at the house. <laughs> are you afraid people aren't going to like you right now because you're not wearing your... Yeah, your, well, your, your you actually, prop, well, until Anna Marie brought it up, I had forgotten about them. Uh, tell me you love me. Uh, I love you, Karami. Karami. Not, not since Tamika has a name been so chuckly. Uh, sorry, Karami. It's just a weird name. I give a shit. Uh, okay. Oh, th- this is hard because the bird icon keeps coming up. I give a shit, says that guy. First time live streaming. Okay, good luck. Kevin, we'll co- oh, see, see, it keeps. Okay, every time someone sends one, we'll have to. Yeah, it's not going to work. 
Every time someone sends one, a big bird face comes up on the thing, <laughs> and I'm in the middle of reading one. It's not working. It's not. See, see what happens. It's got, no. You can't disable the bird. I can't. The we can disable the bird. It's. It's. <laughs> no, I can't disable the bird. There should be a bird disable function. <laughs> there should be a lot of things. I found another uh, Apple Watch bug today, with my Evernote app. If you, if you write an Evernote that is exactly as long as the Apple Watch's screen, and then you add more, it won't show it. But if you add five more things, then it'll show everything. You can scroll it. But if you hit it right on the nugget, bug. That's my bug report. <laughs> All right, let's 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 beef this shit up. Let's, let's talk about lesbians and race. Okay. <laughs> I don't really have. I don't really have anything. God damn it! I gotta dis- I can't. I can't get to my Evernote. People keep. They keep t- t- tweeting. I could. Okay. All right. This is better than the phone. <sighs> Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> I, I did. I didn't mean that to be provocative. Well, I thought it, ask- it would have been better than the phone if I hadn't tried the Twitter experiment. I thought we could try the Twitter thing and it would be cool. And it's, we, we tried something, and you know what? Do you know what the Four Agreements guy says? <laughs> Did you did, did you read more of the book or is this still no? But this is something I still remember from the from the first two agreements. We're, we're only going off you reading a half hour of a I got, two I'm, hour. I'm one agreement in, and that's like that's good enough. I mean, did, did, did you know Jurassic World sucked? Twenty five minutes through, yes, you did. The four agreements are pretty good. I'm one agreement in. It's uh, the the uh, so the guy says animals only pay for a mistake one time in their whole life. One time for each mistake. Humans are the only animal that pays a thousand times for each mistake. That's the stupidest. <laughs> is that, oh wait, is that because oh, animals die if they make a mistake? They get eaten. No, or? it's not. He wasn't. He's not being a Darwinist. He's he's, 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 say, he's saying animals just let it they, go. They, when, well, yeah, they let it go. Yeah. They, no, they, they learn from their mistakes. Yeah. yeah, they learn once. They learn the first time. So do we. But then it's we very, pay for the same mistake a thousand an, times. Uh, Oh my God, you guys! It's so, not that fucking weird. It's it's fucking it, it, humans have anxiety. We we fucking like belabor our mistakes over and over again. Raccoons don't. They make a mistake when they're getting your garbage and they're like their paw gets hurt on the garbage can lid and they go like, "Ow, that hurt." Done. Like they don't they don't sit there three years later and go, "I'm such a fuck up. I'm such a fuck up." Yeah, because Because their brains are the size of ping pong balls compared to it. Well, we could learn a thing or two, or unlearn a thing or two from a creature with a brain the size of a ping pong ball. We can't learn anything from a ping pong ball sized brain. <sighs> a parakeet sits there and pecks its own reflection and gets in a big fight until the beak breaks. <laughs> but then it crazy. learns, you know? They don't doesn't, learn shit. Doesn't make that mistake parakeets again. Don't, parakeets don't learn shit. <laughs> Fuck parakeets. I'm, I'm coming gonna, down hard on parakeets, you guys. I'm gonna do what my therapist taught me to do. <sighs> so that's the other thing. So we all I, I have a shame button. Is it called your dick? And uh, and can I push it? <laughs> it's, it is my dick. It's called my shame button. Uh, I have a shame button, and it can get put. Our buttons get pushed by other people, but it's not their fault. It's our deal. Like your buttons get pushed, and then you don't have to react to it. So if something makes you feel like a classic fight that I would have with with Aaron, believe it or not, would stem from like. If I if I take a nap and I wake up and there's like six texts and she's going where are you what's going on what's happening then I would I would have my shame button pushed because I would be like oh I I did something wrong as a husband because I like I didn't respond to the first five texts and then I'd be like why why don't you calm down it's only been an hour like trying to fix her instead of just going like hey baby I was just taking a nap <laughs> this is breathing it turns out that's it. Seems yeah. like it seems like it was right under my nose. Uh, hey, hey, you you could even do it with your nose. Yeah. I'm not gonna let that get to me. The wordplay. 
I Anyways, us- I usually have to take a couple deep breaths. Just one. Not well, enough for no, me. it's not. Yeah, it's not just. Well, I mean, it could be just one like in a conversation. Like if you were hanging out at a bar or something and somebody like said something. The minute you feel yourself. See, the goal is you got to keep your shame tube totally empty. Like your 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 nervous system, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at him or <laughs> I don't even know. I, Dan, she, never, she I, never even said shame tube. I just <laughs> did you just empty your shame tube? <laughs> if you push my <laughs> if you push my shame, I'll be right back. I have to empty my shame, shame tube. tube. Will empty. <laughs> You you got it like like uh, your nervous system you know so you go from zero to ten like and I'm usually at a five which is bad because if I'm at a five and somebody pushes my shame button I'm gonna go to six and then right up to ten like I it's like it's always been like a binary switch for me but instead four times a day Jeff I'm supposed to take four deep breaths out of four four count on the inhale and four count on the exhale four times four times a day. For a total of 16 four second breaths. <clears throat> and that's it. And now I'm going to be sane. It's going to work. Have you done your breaths today? I didn't. Today, I mean, Aaron's out of town and I was just playing video games. <laughs> I was just playing video games all day. I don't need to breathe for that. It's like I'm getting mad at a dragon or something and be like, fuck you. That's what you're supposed to do. It's called playing the game. Could it be fucking hotter up here? It's very hot. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <sighs> uh, I'm supposed to. Okay, look. All right, I'm supposed to tell people six seasons in an Emmy. I'm supposed to like spread the word. It's really embarrassing. I don't want to ask for an Emmy. I'm not Seth MacFarlane. I, I just. I, <laughs> Well, I don't know. I mean, if that's if that's grown, I mean, he literally did at one point. Like, but I, really? I, I, I kind of don't blame him, I guess, because like at a certain point, it's like, what do you have to do? Ask for it? I'm not going to ask for it. But Yahoo deserves it because they spent a lot of money in an Emmy campaign. So, I, and and they're the ones asking me to do it, and I don't want to say no to them based on some weird integrity I have. So I'm just saying, like, I don't know how that helps. What is everybody going to run out to the Emmy factory? I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, th- I thought you're supposed to get the have one if your show's good. I don't. I don't. I don't like this. I, I don't I think, like life. I don't it, like it, this world. Is, <laughs> is there a way? Are they hoping that, that that becomes a hashtag or a trending thing that 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 will? Yeah, give? and I guess it's. I don't know what. I don't know. <laughs> do do the Emmys what, respond to that? Is it that? I don't know what the Emmys respond to. I don't know. I don't know. I had a. I had. I. I. I, I had. A, I. I don't know. If, I don't know if Danny Pudi would appreciate me repeating the story but he said he was hanging out all night with uh, he, he met a friend of a friend who was like uh, on on like the emmy committee or something and they were having a great time and they had dinner with their mutual friends and they're they're all hanging out and they had a big long dinner and they're all joking around getting along and then they're they went dancing afterward and they're out on the dance floor and the the person finally c- c- comes up to him after talking to him all night and this is like it's like by the way i just got i gotta ask you like what's it like to work with amy poehler uh, thought he was a Z's and sorry all night, all night. They thought he was a Z's and sorry all night. I think that's how the Emmys work for you. I don't know. I, I hear that story and I go, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen for us. Because <laughs> isn't it really what it is? Is it's voting for. Do you Is think it, Parks and Rec might have got Emmys when they, they thought it was Danny Pudi the whole time? <laughs> That's, I want a recount. <laughs> Everybody who, th- I want to I know which brown guy did you think you were <laughs> voting for? I want everybody, because I want a follow-up like, ballot. Like if you, I, I, we have friends that are on TV, like do commercials, and you go, hey, great, I love your, uh, your Coors Light commercial. They go, it's, it's Bud Light. And the thing is, like, people in advertising know that Bud Light commercials don't sell Bud Light in particular. They sell beer. A Toyota commercial doesn't necessarily sell Toyotas. It sells cars. You are not going to buy a Toyota if you weren't already going to buy a Toyota. If you were in the market for a Mercedes-Benz or a, or, or a Chevy or whatever, that, uh, car commercials remind you about cars. Uh, apparently, Danny Pudi reminds them about, <laughs> <laughs> about brown people. <laughs> <laughs> That's his job. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, I, I hate this fucking watch, and I hate I – hate <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate my life, are and I hate pr- myself. Are you a prisoner of the watch right now? Yes, I hate it. I hate the watch. I hate no. it. I hate the watch. It's a stupid product. Don't buy it. It's dumb. <laughs> it's a tiny little shitty iPad on your wrist. It's the Bluetooth sucks from your phone. It's supposed to. It fucking doesn't work. It's dumb. 
you have there... to have your phone on you to, for the watch to have? Of Bluetooth? course yeah. you do. It's garbage. It's a garbage product. That's pretty brave, man. What you're admitting, you know, that you made, you got it. It was silly. Well, I, I kind of, I mean, I knew it would be. It's not that brave. It's. I think it's very brave. You know. <laughs> All these tweets. I mean, all your tweets are dumb, too. <laughs> is it the heat that's getting to you right Yeah, now? it's really hot up here. I feel like it's dripping down my face. I feel like a pig. I've been very irritable the last couple of days. I don't know what it is. I think I think it is the heat. I, I don't like when it gets hot. God, the cops shot a guy in the eyeball outside Shrop's yeah. place. Yeah. What the hell? Wait, I, I heard he was flagging the cops down and they shot him. Like, what, that's yeah, what he, he yeah, was asking for help. He said he needed help and he had a towel wrapped around his arm and the cops said there was a gun in the towel so they yes. shot him in the eye. And then handcuffed him. So they had to believe that he was saying, help me, help me, while aiming a gun with the intent to fire on them, which is just an insane Godfather belief. Godfather 2 style with the silencer. I guess they, he didn't want to – I don't – I mean, look, a co- being a cop's a hard job. And I, 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 the guy – if the guy did have a gun well, – He not, didn't. It turned out he didn't. Okay. Well, okay. That's fucked up. So they so they looked at the towel and thought that's a gun. Yeah, I mean that's the here's the thing is that like I smoke a lot of pot. I've seen like, I've seen people that turned out to be mailboxes. Like, like the you know the human brain can shift items and make them look really crazy, but you gotta you shouldn't like fire a weapon before you make sure that you're seeing what you're seeing, because everyone you know everyone's brain fucks up. Yeah. On the flip side of that, we never talked about that guy outside the the play, that that gallery. I can't even remember where it was now. Was it Austin, someplace in Texas? They're having that dumb gallery where they're having the draw Muhammad contest, and the guys showed up in the sedan, and they had assault rifles, and they were going to head into the gallery, and the one there was one cop on duty <laughs> outside the place, and they like shot them both. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's like a like a weird western That's... story. Like he took them both out. Under a rain of assault <laughs> rifle fire, it like was, shot them both. It's badass. Dead. <laughs> yeah. And and so he and the two guys were the only casualties, right? And the, like we can I be pretty so. sure that he probably saved thirty people's lives or something. I mean, at least, yeah. Pretty. Well, I mean, so I mean, I, I don't, sometimes cops shooting people is great. <laughs> If they were gonna, if they were about to shoot more people, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to think about this cop stuff. I think it's so weird that our phones started being able to pick up on this stuff. And I, I don't think, I don't think our phones got sophisticated at the same time as cops started being cra- <laughs> crazy no, brutal. No, the, the underclass has cameras on them at all times, and they get to film their friends being uh, shot in the back and shit. So like, it's it's been happening all the time. It's it's been going on forever and ever and ever. Yeah. And now uh, the the underclass and like not rich people get to uh, have access to footage and shit. So I had a pitch, and you guys are gonna go, "Oh, this is stupid. You're stupid. You're dumb." Oh, I like this. I don't one. care. <laughs> Fuck you. It's your problem. You push that button. I don't care. You're you're du- you're made of smoke. I'm made of light. <laughs> I'm ha- I'm a quarter I'm a quarter through the book, and I'm reasonably certain I've I've got it. Here's Wait, my so, pitch. So other people to smoke? If I say so. And, he, here's and, my, and they're glue. No, you're, you're here's my pitch. <laughs> so here's the problem: is that the cops look like you know they look like enforcers. They have they're wearing black. They have guns on their hips. Like like they go into these t- terrible situations. They never know what they're getting into. They're all jacked up. The people that they're visiting are not having their best day. Never. You're never a cop talking to someone who's having a good day. Um, they're always like all, you know, they're, they're, it's like the, 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 everything is a fucking powder keg and everyone's got a gun. So here's my pitch. <clears throat> all right. So special branch of the police force called the uh, uh, peacekeepers, okay? Head to toe white spandex. No weapons, cameras all over them, and like fingerprint sensors, too. Because the rule is, if you touch one of them, automatic lethal injection. Like, 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 like. If let alone if you shoot one or anything. So like, I, I, I didn't think you were going to go in that direction. Well, it has to be, it has to be backed up. Like, it's like the peacekeepers and white spandex seemed a lot more uh, laissez-faire than that. <laughs> They are laissez-faire because if you touch one, you're fucked. Like, you're dead. 
You might as well. I mean, there's problems with this pitch, but we'll refine it. <laughs> but but the, what, what if you're falling over and you accidentally like like you need help? You you're could... you're nitpicking the wrong thing because okay. I haven't finished my pitch. Okay. <laughs> so these the, the point is they have no gun. They have no gun. So when you see these guys, you know they don't have a gun. They, they, it's not their job to like. They don't even have handcuffs. It's not their job to shoot you or arrest you or anything. It's their job to. They have conflict uh, training and they and they get paid. $700,000 a year because they'll probably die within a week of <laughs> but that's the that's capitalism it's like hey 700 grand a year if but and, and you're probably going to die so uh, and so whenever there's a, a police call they're the first ones in and they come in and they go hey take it easy I'm a peacekeeper what's going on I just want to know I just want to help out and they have to have that accent I like this <laughs> And then, like, but and then again, if yeah, if you to answer your question, if you fall and accidentally touch them, yeah, you, lethal injection. <laughs> I, and I know you're going to ask, well, wouldn't that give rise to a generation that would murder people by pushing them into peacekeepers? <laughs> I'm way ahead of you there. That 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 was my next question. They're also going to be f uh, floating uh, uh, beholders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that watch in case that happens. Okay. So if that happens, How if that work? happens, poison darts <laughs> at the person that pushed. The floating beholder has poison darts. Yeah, they're, I, they're, I If you see those that. things coming, wait. They, Rays of disintegration, sure. Poison darts, I don't know. They're not. It's not. It's not that beholder. It's, it's named. They're after just that. called beholders and have poison darts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're like that explains. Is anyone else imagining Jim Rash as a peacekeeper? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's who I keep thinking of. But somewhere in there is the germ of a good idea. Because yeah. The, because the, as you and I were discussing. We were talking about this. The actual problem is that, well, the way to break the cycle is that, is that the community think about, think about police as, as being there to actually help. help. But every, every time you see them, you're just like, oh, fuck. Like, and unless you're, unless you're like, I mean, if you're like terrified for your fucking life, but which, you know, it's, which also needs to be mentioned. I mean, Jesus Christ, man, you, you get the shit scared out of you. And sometimes when the cops show up and they're nice and you're like, holy fuck, thank God for the police. There was some, somebody I saw that made a very interesting point that there was a, uh, they showed the picture of the asshole that shot all the people at the church in South Carolina. And, uh, he's got a bulletproof vest on. He's being escorted very qu quietly and casually to a car. And then a black guy down on the ground for selling cigarettes, like with three cops on top of him, like like, like strangling him. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, there's that guy died. Uh, there's different ways of being arrested, uh, and we treat uh, we treat the little white guy that kills a bunch of fucking people like uh, for no I mean for no good reason uh, with a lot of respect and a lot of courtesy and a lot of care. It's absolutely crazy. What was with the bullet? Were people really afraid he was going to get shot? Like walking to the police car. Like, Captain America didn't get a bulletproof vest. Oh, they, they put a vest on him? Yeah, yeah to uh, walk him, like, in public. I don't know. know. Ostensibly because they don't want him to die before we can find out why he did it and you know, get, the, get the dope on him. Uh, but I don't think that happens to, uh, to black suspects. I, I don't think we give them the bulletproof vest on the perp walk in front of all the media and shit. It's, uh, I find it pretty shitty. And that creepy-ass judge, you see that thing, of the, uh, that, that little hearing where... Where he, he he wanted the families of the vic of the shooter to make sure that, that that we all knew that they were victims too. And that was a little cynical, I thought, in front of. The, the Wait, what? I didn't get that. All, the families of all, of the, of the victims were all allowed to make a comment while they put this guy on a video arraignment or whatever it was, like a free trial kind of thing. And the guy said, "Let's not forget about the family of the shooter." Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, oh boy. He did. That, that's in an unrelated case. Yeah, I don't know. He, I mean, I, I think I, I think I got where he was coming from on that one. It's like, like let's like believe me, like we're all we're all victims of a crime like this, and let's let's not all go crazy. I don't think anybody was going to go crazy. I think that guy just wanted that judge just wanted to be kind of a hot shot and like 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 he was on camera, so he's going to have a movie moment where he made sure the white family of this white little fucking peckerwood cunt fucking like was was was, ta was was taken care of. Yeah, I said peckerwood cunt. <laughs> And if that's not the name of this episode of Harmontown, I'm leaving. <laughs> you're leaving. You're leaving the show forever. I'll never come back again. Is it allowed to be the title? <laughs> and you put the c word in the, in I don't the think title. You, I don't a, think you do. I'm sure iTunes has some algorithm. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to pour a bunch of white guilt kerosene on that white guilt bonfire, but like, Jesus Christ. I think the, <laughs> I, 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 the thing that, the thing, about white guilt. The thing that, <laughs> Jesus. he wasn't even, he, he wasn't even white. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, he was Italian. Uh, <laughs> And don't and don't let Italians convince you of, they're, they're not white. Um, a lot of them will try to make you think they're not. That's, they're that's not. the first thing an Italian is going to try to make you believe. Uh, it's like, but <laughs> hey, uh, you you got some problems with your sink. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm a white. <laughs> no, Mario. No, you're Italian. Go go fight the Oompa Loompas or whatever. That's your job. That's your that's your racially designated job. Is to kick turtles and <laughs> blow fireballs out of your nose. Sorry, it's, some stereotypes are true. Uh, no, I, what, I, what I was gonna say was that it's it's like like the thing that bums me out when shit like that happens is actually how like how how used to it the black community is like, like they, 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 like I always project onto when, when shit like this happens where it's like totally racially like hot. Uh, I always like pr- put myself in the shoes of someone that's, a, that's part of this category and affected by this. And then I'm, and then always with, with the African American community, it's just like, that's the fucking saddest part of it is that they're not as mad is it because they're just like what? What the fuck did you think this world was? Like, like, I said, like, like when Kramer said the N word on stage, it was like, wow, that's that's a big deal. And they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, oh god, Jesus Christ, oh, it's just fucking. Like, and then like, this happened, yeah. and it's like, there's no, there's no riots, there's no, there's no. Well, this mean, is not. But, but let, let's say, let's say, black community got up and got really pissed off and started rioting. Then what? But exactly, yeah. that's the thing. Is like they, they, they. Now I'm dehumanizing by talking about they, but I'm saying like they. Th- that community knows that that that's the that's the greatest thing they could do for racism, you know, is to react. And it's like this fucking horrible syndrome. It's like, it's like we figured out Swiss Army knives of oppression because the butcher knife stopped working in the 1800s. So now we've got it down to fucking corkscrews yeah. and little can openers. That, that little right. asshole said he wanted to try to start a race war in America, and I hope that he ab- he did it. Like everything he could to make sure that that never happens. Like that actually the opposite happens from that. That even like anybody that might have been on the racial fence and that one is pushed to the the side of decency and like Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think the the only the only hope Italian is we Jesus gotta Christ. we gotta we <laughs> we gotta we gotta realize that that this whole thing is a dodge. All this all this race shit is a is a is a it's just it's just a distraction from the class class warfare. It's just a all it is is just poor people. Their worst nightmare is all poor people feeling the same way because then if there's that and then there's also democracy, then it's legal to overthrow. And as long as all the poor people are like, you're racist, you're sexist, you're a pedophile. See, stop judging the pedophiles. <laughs> I keep saying, let's join forces with them. You can't, <laughs> you can't pick your bedfellows in a revolution. The, 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 you know, we'll be, we'll, we're going to be storming the Capitol, and, and, and then just, just, when the, just when the Sentinels are, like, blasting us with the, the rays, we're going to be like, oh, we're, we're pinned down. I can't. This is it. I'm sorry. Black, black guy, it's all right, white guy. Uh, we at least we at least we're gonna die as brothers. Yeah. Wait, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, Look, <shit>. pedophiles. <laughs> Flank left. On my word. Dive. Dive. Second wave. <laughs> Dive. Dive! Uh, wait, are the pedophiles played by Brian Blessing yeah. from, from Flash no. Gordon? The I pedophiles are the Hawkmen from uh, Flash Gordon, yeah. <laughs> Gordon to nine? <laughs> and he's 12? Ooh. <laughs> and, then, and then the white guy and the black guy look at each other and they go, any port in a storm? <clears throat> I don't know why you groaned at that. I... <laughs> <laughs> you were having a pretty good time when the pedophiles were flying. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I guess the, I gilded it, the lily. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just you made it too real all of a sudden. Yeah, I guess. I guess because the protagonist signed off on it. Is that what it was? Okay. 
All right. <sighs> Let me just random, random one of your tweets. <laughs> you, you <laughs> I, I just, I like flying pedophiles a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't that be the title? Flying pedophiles. Pedophiles dive. Pedophiles dive. Pedophiles dive, dive. I got to rent Flash Gordon again. That movie's so good. Dan, Bru can you validate me? Oops. No, I can't because these fucking tweets keep coming in. Sorry. Whoever that was, you're validated. Is that a, is that a parking thing? Is that <sighs> what else was I going to talk about? Oh, hey, Spencer. Hey. Uh, how's your, how's your, aren't you twitching now? Oh, yeah, I'm twitching. Spencer's twitching. I really got to get that, it looked it at. Is that a new dance move? Oh yeah, Sp Spencer. Spencer got a, got us equipment. I haven't hooked mine up, but so that we could show people our Minecraft worlds, like on YouTube and whatnot, or yeah, or Twitch, or on Twitch, on Twitch. <laughs> and but, so the Twitch puts it on the YouTubes. Uh, you do that yourself, actually. It's not so. Twitch is a, is well a, is a thing. It's an internet. It's thing. like YouTube for video games and live. It's the weirdest. It's the weirdest social phenomenon in the world. I, I, so you can I, stream your your video game play. Yeah. Yeah. People and people are positively like it's actually w working. Like people like to watch other people play video games. I would would have never predicted that. I, and they like tip them and stuff. It's. I mean, I don't know. They tip you? I yeah. feel the same thing about sports, though. Right? It's like, why are people watching people play sports? Well, that's yeah. I guess. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I don't. I think I it's no probably problem. that same human impulse. Probably, I don't know. But yeah, the thing I can't. But uh, yeah, okay. No, I mean, do you it's a lot watch, of fun, Spencer. Do you watch other people? Twitching? No, I think that's hilariously dumb. <laughs> so I mean, not if you're watching me, of course. That's the best thing you do. But you, you put do. your stuff out there, and do you have a following now? I mean, there's four or five people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do it for them. I do it to feel. Like I'm wasting less time when I'm wasting time. Because now you become entertainment for other people. I mean, yeah. Now it's actually doing something. It's not just going into the yeah into so the past. So people sit and watch you Minecraft, and you're moving little blocks around. Yep. And, See, and sometimes I'm singing. Like, I'll sit and watch for hours. I'll watch Minecraft tutorials and stuff because people because there's so many mods, and then people I'll go like, how do you how the fuck do these wires work or whatever? And then some guy I'll have a thing. It goes like, hello, I'm Mr. Pasty Pants, and I'm going to show you how wires work. Oh, 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 look over here. You see, I've put a one-way switch. You have to put it at the top of the block and never put it at the, facing the north, or it won't work. I, mean, I don't know why that is. I sent a bug report to the author. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, like they do characters and stuff, and... But they show you how shit works. Uh, d is that what you do? Are you showing people like 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 how? No, you I'm just fucking. I'm just playing it. Like I'm just playing it, and people ask me questions, and I answer like their weird, questions. Is, is it like a weird sort of vo voyeurism where they're watching Spencer's mind at work? I mean, I guess I don't know. Well, like does I said, I think it's the this? sports anybody thing. Anybody here follow somebody else? You in the front row? You you watch people twi I, I twitching? Watch, uh, all kinds of Twitch channels. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, so if you're sitting at work and you can't play, but you want to watch a game. So which which games do you watch? Uh, I watch League of Legends. I watch Minecraft sometimes. Hearthstone, lots of Hearthstone, lots of Starcraft. You games. watch people play Hearthstone? Yeah. Hearth Hearthstone is is like is like a card, it's just a game. card game, and you watch you watch strangers play it yes. against each other. Well, you watch the stranger playing against somebody. Uh huh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a stranger, or they might be playing someone you know. Oh oh okay all right. Uh, I just, I, I, just, I, just I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by the fact yeah. that. Does that like kind of scratch the same image for you? Uh, what's, what's your name, by the way? Skyler. Well, grab a mic real quick, just so. Oh, that means it. I get to sit down. <laughs> Skyler, come on up. <laughs> Skyler, be twitching. <laughs> oh. Skyler, do you, do, have you or do you ever watch sports? Do, do you follow? God no. Huh? God no. God no. So no, you don't, you, you don't no. watch a baseball game. Is it, do you think that scratches the same sort of itch that somebody who, who likes football? Like, uh, I would assume so, yeah. Because I guess it's a, it's a spectator sport. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I want there to be more here. Uh, oh, no, I, 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 I'm no, I, can't, I can't figure out. I mean, I, you know, I've had Superman explain to me, and I, I get it now. Like, I'm, I'm, I, but I, I, <laughs> That's I, a lot of pressure. I, I, but, but, but the thing I haven't done is I haven't, I haven't like, gotten on Twitch and actually tried this. But, Spencer, are you, when, you're, when you're twitching... Yeah, as the kids call it. The, they do. And you're you're doing exclusively Minecraft. Are you talking to people? Yeah. So like, there's a chat room, and I see it on my phone. So people are like, "Oh, 
what color is your house going to be? And then I'll be all like, I don't know, maybe red. And they're like, I'd like blue. And then I'd be like, okay. You know? So, I, and I think there is some, I don't know, I think people get something from the interaction. And also I think it's kind of like podcasting where it's like you're interacting with this person kind of in this very limited sense where you're sort of exposing yourself to, to them. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very easy but very distant and controlled human yeah. interaction. It's a, it's a community. Like, it's just like, the show is really people watching the podcast through the streaming and stuff like that. But with like now that I know that Spencer has a Twitch, I'll totally watch Spencer play Minecraft. Yay! Can well, I, I would watch, too. Because <laughs> can I watch you watch Spencer play? Uh, <laughs> That's gonna yes. be the new thing. We could do Twitchception. <laughs> yeah, oh, but I, I want to be in the room. I want to be physically in the room while you watch it. Sure. <laughs> oh, I want to. I, I want to stand there in white spandex. I w- <laughs> <laughs> but I can't if touch you, you, if you. I can't you, touch you're you. Fucking I dead. Can't fucking touch you. Be dead. <laughs> I really wanted this to happen yeah. where I could touch you, but all right. <laughs> you can touch my floating beholders. Oh, all right. <laughs> With their disintegration rays and their anti magic fields. <laughs> it's an important aspect, those it is. anti magic fields. It's the scariest part. Yeah. Don't forget. Um, you lose all your bonuses. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. <laughs> What do you play when you play? You play Hearthstone. You play. You play the things you watch. Um, the last time I streamed Twitch, where I was producing Twitch that people could watch, I played a, a game called Magicka Two, and it's where four wizards cast spells cooperatively, where your spells can hit each other, so you blow each other up and yell at each other a lot. <laughs> so we just bl- blew I, through the whole game in one sitting, but all yelling at each other on a couch. We got the cops called on us. It was a really good. Experience. Damn. To it me, was fucking rager. I understand the idea of like, like I would, I would, if I had time, I would want to. That's why I asked you to look into getting this stuff because I wanted to be one of these guys who has like a YouTube video. But like, I wanted to have control over. Like, I want to go. Hello, it's me, Dan, uh, Dan Snakebite sixty nine or whatever. And <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to show you my automatic irrigation system or something. Over here, so, I put so some water. So you don't want to stream. You want to produce content that you have edited and then voiced yeah, over and stuff like that. Yeah, because I'm nervous about the idea of people watching me in real time because if, I, if I'm playing Minecraft, like, like, and I stack up some blocks and then I'm just, like, s- sitting there. Oh, like, yeah. And someone's watching? No, it's a nightmare. You, you, I'm, I'm just going to so be you, the guy so that says on, this. On your screen, you're seeing people comment, like, b- bad block placement. Yeah. All you <laughs> quit watering the plants, you dick. Oh. I, for I, real? No, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I would say that you playing Minecraft and having a community watching you and like messaging you like, oh, you should go over there. That looks like there's goats or something. Like it's probably way more interesting than watching you look at your phone in front of a mic or look at your watch, check Twitter. All right. Well, damn. Well, like, oh, it's all right. Like, oh, shots I'm saying. shit. Take a deep <laughs> breath. Take no, a no, deep no. breath. I don't mean to. <laughs> it's it's, it's hilarious that I'm sitting up it's here speaking to one of my heroes, criticizing him looking at his Twitter. Like. Like, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, I'm just checking my tweets, because I've been... I'm, I'm excited for my tweet hate mail. I'm excited for that. No, it's fine. I mean, look, if you're, like, look, it's a bad show. and It's not a bad show. That's not what I'm saying. I think you took the wrong thing out of what I was trying to I don't, say. Well, I don't, I don't I'm saying that this is a... I'm saying that this is a beautiful thing that people care about and can watch and still enjoy. And Minecraft can be that also. Oh, right. Well, yeah, I mean, but I... I but There's no wrong. <laughs> There's no wrong way to do it. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. It's like a Reese's. Yeah. There's no, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Thank you, Spencer. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. There's probably a wrong way to eat it. <laughs> like, you, forget to unwrap it first. That's a wrong way to do it. No, that's fine. That's fine. This guy says Snakebite69 should be the name of the p- title. I don't know. No, no pedophiles with wings. Right, f- fuck you, buddy. Fuck I you. Like this, I like this voting on the title with the audience. <laughs> Snakebite69. I just the the difficult thing is every time I, they said okay someone said don't give up okay Aww. <laughs> but I but I think they I think they meant on a race race relations because <laughs> it was eight eight minutes ago so maybe it was like don't give, meant, don't, don't give up on white people maybe they meant don't, don't give up on your peacekeepers pitch yeah. <laughs> Well, somebody I, I, by the way, I'm terrified of your peacekeepers. <laughs> yeah, because they're going to get cocky and arrogant, and they're going to be like, why don't you touch me, bro? And they'll like, 
be forcing you up against if, the corner. I'm, a, I'm if, afraid if, of if two people walked in right now. Uh, let's say it's a man and a woman, and they're peacekeepers, and they're wearing white spandex. We'd all fucking be bummed out because you're like, like, what if you touch them and you'd be dead? Like, you don't know what's going <laughs> well, on. Well, that's because that's that that's your signal. To be, everybody fucking cool it, man. Yeah, yeah but that's horrifying. But well, if, yeah, but they don't have guns and they if, don't have handcuffs. It's horrifying the way if like if an angel came down. Like, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It's that's not. Pro, that's it's potentially it's, very horrifying. It's, yeah. it's 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 disruptive and it's and it's put hits the reset button. Can, oh shit! Fucking the fucking. I, like, what is the vetting system for becoming a PC? <laughs> you, <laughs> Heavy. You, you have to be willing to get killed on, the, on your first yes, week of you, work. You have the ability to run through a crowd and kill 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, no, no. The vetting system is you have to have had six years of, of, uh, of, uh, of conflict resolution training. Okay. Uh, you have I to have a liberal arts degree. Workers. <laughs> You have to know Tai Chi, just sure. only to balance your your uh, soul, <laughs> or or a chi. <laughs> Enlightened. Not genes. to hurt people, just to just to just to be calm when people are killing you, because you're gonna die. But then over time, what's that? What if you touch an off-duty peacekeeper? If you touch an That's off-duty fine, peacekeeper, man. that doesn't matter. That's they wouldn't be wearing their spandex. Well, oh, shit. Oh, is, shit. That, is that true? If you, he says if you kill an off-duty cop, there's a higher penalty. Well, I guess, I guess given what, yeah, I guess we're not shocked. We got to go back. I mean, we got to work. It's a good idea. We just got to work out the kinks. I think they should be robots. That's what we need. We need those chappy robots. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that would calm anybody down. Those things. <laughs> well, they wouldn't like, I don't know. Well, they probably would. You know, I mean, recognize weapons and stuff. We're basically just British pop star, right? British, British. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's saying that the, 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 the British Bobby doesn't carry a firearm. Oh, right, right. I, 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 but don't they kind of do now? Like, aren't, aren't there some... No, like, you, need to, um, you need to justify it and like, you have to have a separate call out to get the British army. But they'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> like... It's fine. Yeah, but they're, but they're, they're, they're more famous in, the, in, the, uh, in Europe and, and the for UK. For beating the shit out of people. <laughs> for, like, actually, like, like, casually disarming people and, like, talking it out and stuff oh, like that. Oh, it's amazing, man. I saw a video of uh, a guy with a machete. He was swinging a machete around, and they just kept bringing more cops, and some guy hit him with a chair. No, one, <laughs> no, no guns got fired. No one got hurt. Like, the guy got arrested. It was awesome. Police. Uh, <laughs> it can be done. I tell you that story, well, when we were in, when we were there for Hogmanay in Scotland, and I bumped into a cop, and it was like New Year's Eve, and everyone's drunk, and I, I bumped into a cop, and the cop went, "Oh, excuse me." Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I, I think I ran around a corner and puked. I, I like, like, I was just like oh my God. so nervous. I was, I was like, I can't believe that just happened. Our first night in uh, in Edinburgh, you guys had checked into our little our apartment there, and Kate and I were parking a car and getting luggage out of the car, and we parked right right underneath, like literally, like the street below the Edinburgh Castle, like like in the shadow of the big castle there, and we parked on the road, and the meters you have to go to a little kiosk, get us uh, like a receipt, put it in your car, um, you can. Buy a bunch of time on it, but what you can't do is feed the meter. Like you, like, you can't like go back in like the middle middle of the night and add more time on that. You have to actually move your car or whatever. It's a pretty good system, I guess. Except we didn't have any. Um, you, you have to put coins in. You can't put a card in. So we didn't have any. So we walked up to a, a cafe to get some money. And in the time that we did that, because we had to buy something, we came back. We're getting a ticket. Now in Los Angeles, I don't know about living in other parts of the country, the U.S. Uh, the moment they're out of the car, you're getting a ticket. The moment they start typing your, your license in, it's you, you have a ticket whether you drive off in a fury. Um, there was this cop there, and he's writing this up, and Kate's like, oh, no, 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 no. And she's, you know, she's Scottish, so she was, like, talking to him, and, like, ha- Scottish falsetto, because they all talk in a falsetto. Like, oh, no, 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 no. And, and the guy just put his uh, little computer thing in his pocket and walked away. And she's like, do, like, do we, have, we have a ticket? He's like, no, on you go. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, really? And, and she's like, he's like, yeah, it's all right, on you go. Uh, put put your money in that and go and so so we so she does that and I'm like getting stuff out of the car and the cop was doing his thing and looking around at other cars and he walks by and it's like a, it's just after Christmas right like or maybe it was just just Christmas when we were there and I said thank you very much by the way I'm from Los Angeles where um, if if, a, if someone starts writing you a ticket you have a ticket and he goes yeah but we're nice here <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then and then and then the, and then the Lactus Monster came out and just fucking <laughs> ate him. <laughs> and you were like, what? And then it pulled back, and you were outside like this lab. What? Uh, just punching it up. It had third act problems. <laughs> is uh, is uh, is D- Darsan? Are you here? Darsan. Darsan? Oh, yeah. did I did I slightly pronounce one <laughs> vowel wrong? Wow. Dar Dar Darsan. Yeah. Do, do you want to come up here? Do you want to yeah. chat? Yeah. Now that now that now that no, you no you're staying. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, tw- Twitch lover? Skyler. Skyler. That's a that's a that's a pretty nice name. Darsan, everybody. Darsan. Community fans may know Darsan as as Black Dave from Black season Dave. five, who rose to prominence in season six. Is what came down to you and uh, <clears throat> Vicky and and uh, uh, yep, what, what's his name, here. the guy that made out with my wife, <laughs> Garrett. Garrett. Uh, yep. Yeah, because we we lost Neil, and and then uh, yeah, we 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 call we call you guys our Muppets because you're not regulars, you're kind of like, but you're not background and you're not guest stars, you're kind of like always there. And Muppets, Muppets, yeah, Muppets, dehumanizing. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it's be- better better than Black Dave. Better than Black Dave, uh, <laughs> which is still somewhat dehumanizing, but I guess Muppets is less dehumanizing. Yeah, yeah, no, M- M- Muppets and Black Dave, they're both neat. Come on. Uh, no, but, but the, uh, <laughs> both the, uh, um, what's you, you're, you're, you're Jewish though, right? Yeah, I am. You're, wait, 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 I, for your story, you were telling me in the green room, your, which, well, your mom's Jewish, your dad's, uh, yeah, my mom's uh, Jewish, my dad's, um, he's black. He was like, and he was like, <laughs> your, your dad, your dad was like a rambling man, right? If, if there's anything you don't want to talk about, you don't have to talk about it, but. Okay, so basically I was telling uh, Dan that, um, my dad's from Trinidad and, um, he came from when it was, um, still owned by, Ang- uh, by Britain, so he kind of came out with a British accent. Because for whatever reason, he thought that actually talking like you were from Trinidad was really um, improper. And all his family is like, what the fuck, you're crazy. And they all talk with a Caribbean accent. So it's more like um, we'll, uh, we might be out somewhere. And because black people say hi to other black people, um, it, it's like um, it, that, that, that's a thing. So um, uh, somebody like, see him. If, if you walk in the street and see another black guy? Yeah, we'd just be like, sup, and then. Right. Is that like, is that just a, that's just a, as a courtesy thing, or that's a cultural thing? You guys, I, I honestly don't know. I just, I just have accepted it and sort yeah. of embraced it. You guys it better not be it. up to something. It's <laughs> Jeff, it's 9-11. It's not a code, is it? It's 9-11. It's 9-11. It's 9-11. Black people are up to something. Don't ever forget these numbers. These numbers are so important. They make the difference between good and bad. Don't ever forget these numbers. These numbers will make the difference when you go to bed at night and pray. Tweet, tweet, boop, boop, tweet, 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 <laughs> I think, <laughs> pedophiles die. Pedophiles die. <laughs> I, you, you, I, I'm glad you cut it off because I, I was. <laughs> oh, what, what? I was about. Osama bin Laden was about to do a rap. A, a rap. A rap back. No, 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 no. No, no. Give the people what they want, Dan. Name's Osama bin Laden. <laughs> My name's Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Everybody. One, two, three.
three, four, come on. My name's O'Sullivan Ladder. I don't eat salad, I eat ramen. I'm, I live in a cave. I'm all the rave till you got me with your zero dark 30 by whispering my name. Toot toot, beep beep, night vision. You whispered my name. I thought you were a little girl in trouble. Walked into the doorway and got shot in the face. I deserved it. I deserved it. I deserved it. My name's Osama Bin Laden. My name is Osama. I've come to see your pa. He owes me five dollar from when I mowed his lawn. Last week, I have a funny hat. My God is funny too. <laughs> My name's Osama Bin Laden. Wait, can I explain what I meant? My name's Osama Bin Laden. Too late. Too I, late. Listen, no. I, I meant my version of it. The extreme version. <laughs> oh. My name is Osama. I think it's hot in here. I'm gonna go in my car and drive around and get a beer. Can I have a beer? No, that's illegal here. Gonna park my car and get out and get a beer. My name's Osama. I live on your feet. Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote this song. I'm... I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't that, mean. I didn't, was, mean, was I didn't mean the Islamic God was funny. An Osama bin Laden, Andrew Lloyd Webber collaboration. Uh, I like that. In the end, he was gonna. He was, yeah, he was gonna. I live on your fear. Like, I I stopped it too soon, man. I, <laughs> well, I don't know. No, I don't think. I, I don't think I had it in me. The, yeah, we opened in two nights, you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, I mean, there's a lot of feelings around. You came down pretty hard on Islam there, Dan. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> That's a pretty bold stance in this day and age. I said his, said his God was funny. I meant, I meant a God that cares so much that he would, that he would ask you to hurt people. It seems silly. <laughs> that made it worse? What do you... What? Is it? Oh, just, just right. drink your weird Lowenbrow forty ounce. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't make eye contact with me, I can't see you. <laughs> you know? He just—he was like, that made it worse. And I was like, what? Like, <sighs> All right, shit rolls downhill. Thank you for helping me. <clears throat> so, anyways, Jewish mom, black dad, tell me more. Well, what was Thanksgiving like at that house? I think it went a little something like this. Hey, is this a jive turkey? <laughs> we'll be right back. Oy vey! <laughs> you know, if that was actually how my Thanksgivings were, I would actually have loved my Thanksgivings. Because <laughs> guys from Trinidad, Trinidad always talk about jive turkeys, right? Yeah, they always talk about jive turkey. Um, all right, so, uh, all right. How do you know when a turkey is a jive turkey? <laughs> you, have to, you have to look at the legs. Oh, yeah, we got, we got. All right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play this right this time. We're going to, we're going to, are you okay, uh, Skylar? I, I'm amazing. Okay, great. <laughs> if you get uncomfortable, just let me know. I know it's hot up here, and I don't know what I'm doing. It's a bad show, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I, I don't want you to come away with that. That's, I, I won't stand for that. It's, oh, no, it's no. It's an amazing show. Oh, thank you, Skylar. Thank you. I wasn't fishing for that. Yeah, but this guy, this, this guy watches Minecraft at home. <laughs> is that, is that, he, he's our barometer? He says, that, of what's that, entertaining? Is that helpful? <laughs> if, if you knew what, what, what Hearthstone looked yeah. like. And it's, you know, Have you been to uh, grassgrow.com? <laughs> <laughs> you get to watch real live, uh, real time grass growing. Uh, from from, from paintdryers.org. Uh, 
So what exactly does Hearthstone look like? Uh, Hearthstone just is it looks mag- like Magic the Gathering. Right? It looks like colored rectangles bumping into each other. <laughs> With explosions and animations and noises. Yeah, it's got a lot of noises. It's a card game. Each card is a digital digital card game. Gotcha. People watch World Series of Poker. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the I don't get it. Rectangles don't even bump into each other. <laughs> People watch Prairie Home Companion. People watch this show. People people watch uh, people watch Community for six seasons. But, th- but those were like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Four and a half. And an Emmy. Don't forget. And tell everybody. <laughs> tell Yahoo. I told yes. everybody to st- say we deserve an Emmy. Tell them Seth MacFarlane sent you. <laughs> and, and, enter the code Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, they had a campaign a while back that was like, "Hey, have you noticed Family Guy hasn't got an Emmy yet?" And it was like, it was I actually like, got those screeners. It was just like kind of passive aggressively saying to all the voters, "Like, yeah, we make you laugh, and you don't vote for us, sucker right. dicks. Watch this episode, kind of thing." Did, did, and did they did they win one then? Um, I no. don't recall. I don't think. They, yeah, because I, I the most I, blatant I, one was when the um, Simpsons Family Guy crossover where uh, Homer's throwing Emmys at Peter, and Peter goes, "Hey, no fair. We ain't got none of those." So. Yeah. That was kind of the most blatant. Please vote for us. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't know how the Emmys work, but I think it comes down to uh, other writers having to like me, which I think is like, it's just like there's no way that's ever going to happen. Which uh, Emmys do you think you'd be most likely to be nominated for slash win? Well, I always thought that maybe our actors would would eventually get at least nominated. I thought that you know a while ago that <clears throat> like Danny Pudi and there was never a nomination. No, never, never. I'm not bitter. I don't care. I mean, I maybe uh, you know whatever. Everyone has an Emmy. Do you, th- do you think that the Emmy uh, committee is a little like a little hesitant to nominate somebody who has come down so hard against Islam? Because <laughs> <laughs> that seems justified. That seems justified. I, I think having a funny God isn't coming down on the religion. I, I think God should encompass we, all. Skylar, don't coddle okay. him. We know what he meant. <laughs> I appreciate it, Skylar. I, I mean, I just want people to be happy. I, I, if I if I if I if I were a god, I would I would I would uh, be a lot like Hitler, <laughs> <laughs> but not in a bad way. Right, the good parts of Hitler. Yeah. Was it clear what I was trying to say at that point? Like, no. God, God, no. I'm just saying, God and God and Hitler. <laughs> They, we all have that in common with Hitler. Like, like, like what? Every, what? every everything, the universe has that in common with Hitler. That self-loathing. It, it, yes, the dissatisfaction with the status quo. So that, that that there was there was nothing. The universe was nothingness, and then it exploded into everythingness. So that means that the nothingness, which must have been God, otherwise, if it, if God, if something pre-existed God, which nothingness would have, then God wouldn't be God. So nothingness must also be God, which means that God's origin must be nothing, which means that God was dissatisfied with his own state. And so he split up and expanded into everything. He didn't like being nothing, just as Hitler didn't like just being the mayor of Berlin or whatever he started as. <laughs> he was never the mayor of Berlin. <laughs> Hitler was the mayor of Berlin. <laughs> never should have. No one ever talked about that. Why did they elect this guy mayor? <laughs> He was he was saying like if I'm mayor I will kill all the Jews and then everyone was like well I'm voting for him because he won't have that power as mayor but he's his stance on those potholes outside my house <laughs> like he's the only guy keeping the trains running on time and then okay so <clears throat> they're probably like I'm sure he's just misunderstood yeah <laughs> I mean everybody's mad these days it's 1936 maybe he should be mayor. <laughs> When, it, when Margaret, I was just going off about the Jews the other day. Yes, you were. Yes, you are. And we're Jewish. <laughs> He's got my vote. Mayor of Berlin. <laughs> Lever. <laughs> they voted with slot machines in uh, Germany. I, I'm glad we took that time for you to clear that up for us, Dan. Yeah. That was good. I say, like, well, I think it's silly that you can't say that... that Technically, God and Hitler had that I, one thing in common. I just don't know. I mean, for me, I don't know if it was sufficiently clear that what you were talking about was self-loathing. So, I was yeah, just like, well, like, self-loathing is yeah, you hate what you are. Right. I mean, I get it now. Yeah, now you get it. <sighs> I don't basically. Get the, I, I don't get the impression that Hitler hated who he was. I think he he hated what uh, he word. felt had been uh, 
have been done to him and his country. Well, I think. Well, I'm thinking of, as opposed to like being content. He doesn't seem like a content guy. No, I, I don't think contentment was a, was a real thing after World War One. I. I think the Ger- Germany was pretty bummed out about it. The- it was called the Great Depression. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's gold. I love it. Sorry, it just presented itself. I I, I had to grab it. You really now, so uh, d- uh, Dar Darsan? Yeah. Dar-san. Just don't say Darsan. <laughs> Darsan, your mom's Jewish. Yes. So d- d- does that make you officially Jewish? It does. I'm yeah. a black Jew. Are you, are you practicing? Do you do you go to temple and whatnot? I did it until my bar mitzvah, and I cashed out, and I was like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> pretty pretty, pretty Jewish. It's pretty Jewish. <laughs> Is that basically like the path of a? Is it that's like where your typical kind of secular Jew like gets to the? Because that's like a Christian confirmation, right? It's like you, yeah. when you're a kid, like you're you're raised in the faith, and then you, it kind of culminates in the bar mitzvah, and then you can, as you say, cash out and. It's kind of. I was more raised reform, where it was basically my parents and I kind of decided that temple was really boring, so we didn't go. But they like sent me to Jewish camp, which um, I learned all my dirty humor because I was the only black person there. And then, um, so it came back, and then the bar mitzvah still seemed like a. Good do you have idea. a good? Uh, do you have a good Jewish joke for us from from Jewish camp? My God, I've used them so many times. Are you? Sa- I didn't c- quite make that connection because you were the only black kid at Jewish camp. They all told you their dirty jokes, or it's basically. I was like, for a lot of them, I was the first black person they'd ever met because most of them went to Jewish school. So they're trying to see what they could get away with, and I was so willing to push the envelope that they got away with everything. <laughs> Like they were coming up to you and saying, "Like, hey, did you hear the one about the the black guy and the rabbi?" Or, or what? What were they? What? Can you get? Give me an example of just something really specific you remember. Um, there were a lot of back of the oven comments. Whoa, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> get to the back of the oven. I, I. Uh... <laughs> that that came out of the grassy yes. knoll. Like I. Uh, <laughs> I've been picturing like yeah. these sixth grade kids. Like I'm like, oh, they're too, yeah. what does your hair feel like? And they're like, what? But uh, 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 also, let's notice. Let's, let's go, hit playback if you're if you're listening to this uh, to the uh, laughter to outrage ratio. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's because Jewish women are famous for their cooking. Is that the no? Okay. Well, okay. Here's the best example. So I want a hundred of these. <laughs> so I was talking with my counselor, and he was asking me about the origin of my parents, like how they met. He was like, oh, it's like, so um, like, uh, who's black, your mom or your dad, because I'm mixed. And I said, oh, my mom's white. She's from Utah originally. My dad's black. He's from Trinidad. And he was asking more, and he said, oh, so um, how did they meet? And I said, oh, they had a mutual friend. They met at a restaurant. <laughs> and he goes, oh, was your dad cleaning up? Uh. <laughs> now, do you think that – Was your- he? <laughs> was he <laughs> in your memory do you think that that kid your memory may be wrong it may be right but do you do, do you remember that as the kid was knew what he was doing or like, like or do you think he was being naive or was he like really trying to like like shiv you like like, like, like you know like was he you know, was he being diabolical? Because it doesn't seem like kids are even no. smart enough to be that vile. Well, first off, that wasn't a kid. That was my counselor. Oh, oh. So, you know, he had a few years on me. Oh, so okay. He All knew right. much more about the world than I did. Was, it, was he right. trying? I missed he that was, part. He was trying to be funny, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was because I was crying. I was laughing so hard. And meanwhile, all the other staff who heard were just kind of standing there, uh, like they oh, so were. He was, being like, he was being like Don Rickles. He was yeah. just he was just laying it on you hard, and that, yeah. Which shows a level of respect, like to like to like to deal it out that hard. Yeah. Let's not give this and guy too much of a pass. <laughs> uh, I, I think it, it shows a level of respect for for him to not let it push his button. But my, but I think you could be a better camp button. counselor than that. No, I, I honestly <laughs> think racism is hilarious. Cause well, it's, it's you, one of the you're allowed to. <laughs> ever. Like you you have to and are allowed to. Like. Uh, like, like we could use with a few less people thinking it's that hilarious that they would sell that joke to a kid. <laughs> like, you know, we could condemn this guy and get away with it. He's a shitty guy. <laughs> bad, 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 bad move. Bad humor move. I love bad humor, so. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Did you have, do you have any other jokes? That, like, <laughs> like, because there's, there, there's certain, like, I, I don't like racial jokes, and I don't like jokes where people lose. Like, I, I don't like, like, I was at a bar... Like a few days ago, and everyone at the end of the bar was telling like like gross like the pedophile jokes. They're usually not funny. They just it's kind of just gross. Like 
humor when somebody loses is usually a bummer. However, there are there's a rare instance. What do you mean by that? You mean you mean you mean what do you mean by that? Where where the where the, the butt of the joke is oh because that guy's black because so he's an idiot or or because that guy's Polish or because she's a woman or she's blonde or whatever right. like, like those are like uh, as, <laughs> you got <laughs> you got yes. you got you got two claps yes. from that was from, that was from Lauren Brown guy. It's from a black <laughs> Polish woman. <in> the, <laughs> I think I, I think like Groucho Marx, you know, Groucho, the great Groucho Marx was always approached because he was a famous funny person. Throughout his life, he was always approached by people, by coarse assholes at a restaurant or a bar or on the street, and say, "Oh, I'm a funny guy too. You'll love this one." Uh, two Jews and a black guy going, like, and, he, and he would always stop people and say, "Take the ethnicity out of it because if it's a funny joke, it doesn't need it. Just say three guys." Right. Um, if, if if the joke needs the race, it's not funny. Uh, like try the joke with just two guys or a guy or a girl. Like, 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 if it's a funny joke, doesn't need it. Um, but I, I've known like, like, loads of like, like old school Jewish comics, and they'll tell you some old Jew jokes, which are fucking funny. But it, it has to be an old Jew telling you the joke. They, they, well, I think that, yeah, I mean, I, that, like, kind of gives like the stamp of approval in a way. No, I, I think, I think it's it, like, like, it, just it, but it has to be Jewish, otherwise you're just like, oh, it, that guy's it, a fucking it, asshole. It comes from a place of just like of silliness and not about like, like from, from the outside. Like Sam, the, the great Sam Simon, who just passed away. Uh, like he told me a bunch of jokes. One I love. He goes, a black guy. We're talking about the ra- racism in jokes or race in jokes. And he goes, so here's one. Uh, he goes, a black guy, Irish guy, Jewish guy go into a bar. And the uh, black guy says to the bartender, bartender, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm thirsty. I got to have a cuvassier. So the bartender gives him a cuvassier. He drinks it down. The Irish guy goes to the bartender. Says, bartender, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm thirsty. I've got to have a Guinness. The bartender gives him a Guinness. He drinks it down. The Jewish guy says, bartender, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm thirsty. I got to have diabetes. <laughs> yeah see that's a I, I mean and, yeah that, that, that one's on the bubble because the punchline doesn't doesn't isn't anti-semitic the punchline is like is a, is a there's a Jewish guy telling you the joke and it's kind of like the flavor of of Jewish culture like comedy the, the problem is that in order to tell it you the, the you have to have two other races set it up and the black guy has to order a Corvassier and, just, and then just be forgotten for the rest of his life that that guy was just born into this fictional world and he's like what's my job and God's like order a Corvassier oh yeah you, and uh, I couldn't be Irish no you couldn't trust me just don't worry about it I, fuck you know like I like I like I want to hear you re- I want to hear you retell that joke Dan because I, I know your gift for telling <laughs> alright go ahead come on. do it alright a black guy an Irish guy and a, a a Jewish guy go into a bar and the bartender says, what can I get you? And the black guy says, bartender, I'm hot. I'm thirsty. <laughs> there was a third. Tired. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm hot and tired. I'm thirsty. I, I, I got to have a Corvassier. <laughs> <laughs> and the bartender says, okay. Gives him one. And then the Irish guy says, bartender, I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I've g- I got to have my Bailey's Irish cream. <laughs> give him, give him one. Uh, and the Jewish guy says, "Bartender, I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I gotta have diabetes." Yeah. <laughs> I got I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to break the tape at the finish line. I, I crawled under it. Like, we, we, we were at a bar. You shouldn't be in this race. I don't know if you, if you know Jay Johnston from uh, Mr. Show and and. Uh, Sarah Silverman program, who's hilarious. We were out with Jerry Minor and Brandon Johnson, who are two awesome uh, friends of ours in black comics. And Jay was doing race jokes just to just to piss them off, and they were like, just like just glowering at him. Who like, who like was Jerry Minor and, oh. and Brandon? And they were just giving him like like just like rustic in. This is years ago, and they're like, I don't think that's funny, man. Like like you like you're not making me laugh. Like why are you why are you telling these jokes? And I said like I don't I don't. I, I don't really think that race jokes are funny. However, there's one joke I think it's only funny if the guy is black. And Jerry and Brandon just give me a look like, all right, go, tell me the joke. And I said, I think this joke is only funny if the guy's a black guy. And so the black guy is walking around a Cadillac dealership, and he's looking at the cars, and a guy that works there comes out and says, excuse me, sir, are you, uh, are you thinking about buying a Cadillac? And the guy says, no, I know I'm buying a Cadillac. I'm thinking about pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Darcy? I fucking loves it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking loves it. Uh, here, he'll uh, he'll laugh at anything. <laughs> your your no, your, your, your atonement will be with the with the public on uh, when the when the free podcast drops. 
No, my thing Dear about Mr. race jokes Davis. is it has to be like if it's not like something like openly discriminating and like it just like if it's like circumstantial, like it is funny that like it like that joke worked because like, yeah, because he's high flat. status. He's like he's 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 gonna get a car and he's gonna go get laid later on. He's not yeah. the most status. Level. I don't think he's that high status. I don't think he's that high stat. I think the joke is the is like it plays into a stereotype that he's like he's the, well, he's a black guy. And he's gonna get a Cadillac because he thinks he's gonna get him laid. It's kind of like looking down at him as a consumer. Like he's he's. It's a stereotype, you know. It's like it's it's like it, it, you walk away from that joke, you laugh at it, and then you go, huh, "Yeah, those black people, they love they love Cadillacs because they think it gets some pussy." And it's like you shouldn't be thinking that walking away from a joke. You should be thinking, "I love humanity." That's that was your point. You said you you didn't like it when people lose, but there's a you're hearing you're you're having a stereotype reinforced. The the the, the Jewish guy saying, "I got it's got I got to have diabetes." Uh, again, like I said, it's on the bubble. I don't know. No, for me, I walk away from that joke thinking, huh, it parodied a stereotype. Also, let me know that that is a stereotype and know not to believe it necessarily. Mm, yeah, but you, you may have been just taught about it by the joke. Like, how, where, do we, where do we even know about that stuff if it wasn't from jokes? I don't know. It's, that, it's, not, like it's, it's not like it's an important debate because it's not the, uh, it, what, what I've learned in the later years of my life is that we've got to stop thinking about it. Because like, I, always, I always used to think like, because I was a big freedom of speech guy, so no matter what, I'd be like, well, what are we going to do? Like, it's not about making anything illegal. It's not about taking any rights away. Like, you can still have a separate conversation about what is, what is culturally beneficial and what's, what, what makes people happy and what, what elevates you as a person and stuff. And, uh, so, but it, it doesn't – what do I care? I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm white. <laughs> I'm going home to play Witcher 3. How about that stereotype? Do you like it? Yeah, I'm white. <laughs> Love Witcher Three. I'm half white, so I can. You can like understand. you can like the first three levels. <laughs> <I'll take it. laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I like it, I like it a lot. It's it's like it's like Sky, It's like a bigger, better Skyrim. But I I, I, f I fucked up. I got it on Xbox, and the load screens are really long and. I ha I already bought a really expensive gaming PC and I could have just downloaded it on Steam and played it. I I've already done this and it works and I didn't fucking get it on Steam and I'm very upset with myself. It's not important. Spencer, can I find out when you when you're going to be playing Minecraft or whatever and can I come twitch and like like hurl abuse at you or yeah, or, or, or tell you what color to paint things? You could come. Um I don't I I won't stop you. <laughs> I just I don't have a good schedule. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just like I want to play video games. So I'm like I'm going to play video games in 5 minutes. So how do people tell I don't so, think it's so the you, way to you, do you, it. I saw you tweet that once. But how do people how, is that the usual way for people to know that you're going to do it? Uh, I I guess I can I can technically answer that. Like if so, yeah. So I think he can answer that. Yeah, you set a schedule. So you, you're like I don't. I'm a I'm a Minecraft guy. I Minecraft every Monday at 7 p.m. So everyone knows to come on Monday at 7 p.m. I to see. watch me Minecraft. So right. Spencer, do you ever do, do you ever do like proper dungeon mastering, like D and D stuff, like with groups anymore? Like no, I mean it's it's a lot of a lot of a lot of work. Also, don't go outside much. <laughs> so, not a joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's just uh, you, you don't you don't miss doing that. It's not a thing that you. Well, I don't have people that I really play with, but I mean, it's like yeah, I mean, it's 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 I do shadow run. It, it it scratches that itch. I'm doing. I'm making things happen. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Dungeons and Dragons right. behind your guys's back. Uh, thanks. All right, so <laughs> cops are bad. Islam's bad. White people are bad. <laughs> black people are bad. Love Crevasse. Irish and Jews. You give me a break. Got uh, him, Hitler. Witcher 3's load screens are I bad. I struck out in three categories. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> well, well Je Jewish camp sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I hope you get some Actually, highlighted. Actually, put it that way. <laughs> um, what else is bad? So, like The fucking global warming's bad. I'm sweating like a pig. The heat. Ugh. What's what is what? the heat's bad? I mean, like oh, yeah, under the heat's all bad. this hair, I, I have like a puddle of sweat I have to wring out later. Uh, what? A, oh, uh, Evernote and uh, the Apple Watch. I got. I ran out of fingers. Bird faces. Everything's bad. Twitter's bad. My Twitter system's bad. All you guys are great. That we're. Um, Oh, don't forget. Oh, shit. Thank you, Steve. Steve just texted me. <laughs> uh, we're going to be at Comic-Con. in uh, 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 oh, awesome. San, San Diego on cool. the 12th? Yeah. Uh, 12th. Is it July 12th? But July, not at, July 12th. 
So but like, not oh. at Comic Con. Uh, like, like you don't have to have a badge. Like, we're just going to be in the Gas Lamp District, which is so. If you're at Comic Con, I would say you're probably going to leave Sunday, right? But stay a little bit because we're going to do a show Sunday night at the Tin Roof That's in amazing. the Gas Lamp, and I'll keep tweeting the link to buy tickets. But uh, I'm a little, a little panicked, like I, because <laughs> I figure. Sunday night's the night everybody leaves. Sunday, like, like, but so I'm hoping that there's a way we can just keep spreading awareness and maybe Armenians that are there for Comic Con and people that are already in San Diego just be there because the place seats like 500 people or holds 500 people. Really? And uh, so, what are the, you know? Let's be, let's, let's uh, cook up something special for them and throw a party down. Well, there. yeah, we're gonna I, we're gonna I know we're gonna have like signable stuff for Rick and Morty to give away. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's enough, but uh, I, I was thinking, like, also, if you're in costume, maybe we could do some kind of costume thing and have, like, prizes for that, but uh, not to eclipse the whole show with that, but just, like, somebody shows up let's, let's dressed w- like a robot. We'll we should get, totally, we should LARP. Uh, <laughs> uh, that would be amazing. I, I could help you with that. Oh, yeah? Are you a LARPer? Very much so. Oh, yeah? What, what, uh, do, you, what, do, you, what do you play? What do you do? Uh, I do a lot of different ones, but the one I play currently is a post-apocalyptic zombie LARP. No shit. Well, so is that like with paint, with paintballs? No, we use Nerf. Nerf like Nerf darts? guns. Nerf guns, yeah. And um, then we also use foam swords. Is it LARPing if you're just shooting Nerf weapons at each other? <laughs> well, it sounds like just playing a game. At night, we're not allowed to fire our Nerf weapons because our darts get lost. So we have to throw bird seed packets. <laughs> that doesn't really address Wait, at the zombies. My concern. <laughs> yep. So is it, is it? Do you do you pretend you're a sorcerer at that point against the zombies? Um, some people yell "bang." I'm not one of those people. I don't use a sword though. So can I mean, we I go? I want to. I've never met a larper. I don't. Well, I probably have, but I've never. I've, I've never met an openly <laughs> larping openly larper. Lar- it is a rare thing. <laughs> we are the bottom tier. We're like furries are right underneath. Us. <laughs> like literally, sometimes right on top. I don't know what larping is, but I think I know everything I need to know about it now. Um, <laughs> so, but I'm just curious about the. So y- you guys g- go out into a clearing in the woods, and then some people are saying they're like. Throwing. Can, so, for this specific one, I'm just going to stick to this one. Um, we we all head out for a weekend. It's a three day event. At 9 p.m. on Friday, uh, we go game on, and everyone is in character. Um, the storytellers will release mobs of 20 to 30 people dressed as zombies to come and attack us. We will murder those things and take their <laughs> things. Uh, and then our system is a hit points based system and armor based system. So when you swing your weapon, you yell how much damage you do. And then the person gets hit by it. They have to calculate their life. And then they fall down if their life goes away. So when you swing your weapon, you tell them how much damage you're doing? Yes. So you're like, two, two, two. Or like, oh, ten. Uh, oh, it's ten. not random. You're, no. you're, you're, you, know, you're you know what your weapon is and you know how skilled you are and you know <laughs> what you do. So you basically have to <laughs> two, level up two, and you have two. to memorize I your No, that, wor- that works. So, well, okay. so like, so like, if you it was your first <laughs> night, you would yell to. <laughs> <laughs> gun, gun start at three. Okay, gun start at three. <laughs> um, you're, yeah, so your first night you'd be swinging twos or swinging threes if you got a two hander. Um, I mean, if yeah, uh, there's there's Sons. upgraded weapons. Do we have another larper over there? No. <laughs> All right, oh, an extra he hand. He just loves golf extra, clubs. Extra oh. hand. Oh, four. Four. Oh, he's making oh. golf jokes. Oh. <laughs> But um, <laughs> I did not get that at all. I did yeah. not get that at all. <laughs> His golf head, club deals a joke. four. <laughs> all right. Okay, everybody I'm cool it. funny. So funny. only um, would have been funny if he was a black guy. So then there, <laughs> then there are also powers. So there's people with like psionic abilities that throw packets that make your brain melt and Do stuff. Do zombies right, so, get so powers? So yes, very much so. so the Can they spells? spit acid? Uh, there are zombies that vomit acid. Good. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Carry there are on. also zombies that like punch really Not hard. Not interested. And okay. <laughs> Just acid, acid vomit. Sign me up. Yep. Spencer, yeah, acid vomit. Are, like are, long you, range? are you down yes. for larping or not down for larping? Can you actually vomit? Like, is it okay? Like, like real vomit? In really intense scenes, I have seen like play vomit, like putting stuff in their mouth and then squirting it out of their mouth at people. Okay. Uh, we All call right. those splatter mods. That's but he doesn't have to be play vomit, right? <laughs> All right. I think... I so want to vomit on people. <laughs> I think there's a special... Huh. I think there's a special other thing you could do other than LARPing for Is that just called game. vomiting on people? <laughs> it's called going to Japan. <laughs> yeah, they have a room for that. Was that, is, that a, is that a reference to 
the first George Bush, the the because he puked at that summit in Tokyo. <laughs> Deep cut. It's like a no, thirty-five-year-old. I thought that was like a thirty-five-year-old joke. <laughs> it's like vomit Japan. The, uh, all right. So, no, I have. All right. Qu- go I, questions. Well, go. So, so psionic abilities and yes. spell abilities. Yes. They're all birdseed pack based. Like so, uh, majority like, they, of them are. Yes. Some of them are touch. How, so, did, you, how did you land on uh, picking birdseed packets? Like, how did because you find if they get lost in the woods, they biodegrade into birdseed. Oh. Or, or they turn into plants. That's great. You, you should you, you should put tree seeds in there. I hope that then they would turn into in more forest. Bird seed larp is in. plant seeds. It doesn't grow birds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> what did you think bird seeds were? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't fucking know. <laughs> I also don't know where pasta comes from. Like, I don't, I don't know. Is there like a pasta plant? Like, Hitler was the mayor of Berlin. I don't know. I like. I. I've, yeah. Yeah. Sunflower seeds are flowers. okay. T- stay yep. in college, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Bird seed is yeah. It's regular, just regular old seeds, but we call them bird seed. Yeah. It's not like there's a tree that grows bird seeds. <laughs> <laughs> when I was all well, the birds love it. Oh, <laughs> we I, found when, a bird seed tree. When I was in high school, we toilet papered this girl's house, and uh, for no reason, we were just being assholes, and uh, we sprinkled bird seed all over her roof because she and her family were out of town, and so we put bird seed all over the roof. But it's California, so it doesn't rain for another three months. So in the wooden shingles, there's just this dormant bird seeds laying there. So. Three months later, all of a sudden, their house is a giant chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. But why birdseed? Because it's, you can buy it at a pet food store, and you can get a giant sack of birdseed, and it sprouts into grasses and plants and Wait, stuff Wait, was like that, that your intention, or were, were yes, you, was your prank was, to make birds come out of no, their our, our intention was to make their, their shingles grow Oh, and it really plants. worked. Yeah. And, it, oh, and what, 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 what's the harm of that? Like, like, like it, it, their, their house looks like the Shire. I don't know. Like it's a, <laughs> but <laughs> it looks like Bilbo back into the like, why, why don't we all do that? Why don't we put birdseed on our roof? roof. Like, yeah, probably, like, uh, they have little tiny roots. Yeah. yeah. They'll probably cut into the, the ceiling. It's really tough stuff, but it could. And you have yeah, like a chia yeah. cave in. <laughs> this guy knows his bird seed, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a terrible episode, and I. Uh, that is not true. No, it's fi- it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, we heat, should. Uh, the heat's really gotten to you. Hasn't I it? have this. I have this. Okay, so tonight. Can I? I, ca- I can't figure out how to how to how to deal with this thing with with Aaron, where she keeps, we keep getting in fights about it. We're not going to get in fights about it anymore though, because my shame button is going to get pushed, and I'm not going <laughs> to. I knew the fight. I knew the fight was going to be about your shame button. <laughs> but she won't Ow. fucking stop bringing up the fact that at the it's at this point at the end of the show when I go like, oh, we should get a girl up here before we play the game, and Aaron keeps saying, uh, boy, I look forward to a day when we don't have to say that, and I'm like. Motherfucker, I, it's half it's half the species, and it's not like. I mean, you could technically just say, "Could we get some up in here and then pick a girl and well, not say it?" But that's not. I mean, but, well, that's dishonest, though. Yeah, but who? Ca- <laughs> I mean, what the, what, what the fuck distinction is that? Like, what, what, how is that progress? That I'm like I'd keeping say, something I, to myself. I'd say, the, I'd say the simplest way to look at that is that that the show tends to be a, uh, six guys on stage, I, and, and, a, and adding uh, femininity to the show is never a bad idea. I don't. I don't like, I'd st- but but and I was like, like, I don't know how to like. Prove, if everyone's not here, prove her wrong. Not like, like, is that, like, do I like pr- do like just keep like. Because I can't not. I mean, I guess you're right, Skylar. I just, I just, I guess I just have to own all of this fucking like my own garbage. I guess. I That's, mean, I, I kind feel of, the whole point is really like to make it like equality is like make it like it's just like another thing, not a big deal. So by doing that, it's just like just another thing. But but where is the bottleneck of the it's, of the of the no big deal? Is it in my own brain, like Skylar's saying, where I just go. Hey, who wants to come up? And everyone raises a hand. And then, it, meanwhile, in my head, secret Terminator is brrr, disqualified. Penis disqualified. Penis. Mmm. Boobies. Get up. Like, like. What, what, or, or do I? Or is it more honest or less honest for me what, to what say? Is, what is Aaron's beef about it? That it that it that it feels like women Token. are like uh, some kind of. Uh, 
you know, subhuman, I, like... Well, it's, it's not like you're or, saying, or, oh, we need to get a subhuman up that here. It's a, so, that it's a quota or, or something. Women have been but dis- it is a quota because there's not been any women up. Yeah, or, or, or women are just people that be, get to be discluded because of that? I don't know. So and, then she, and then she'll bring up, she go, and then she'll go, to, she'll say, well, yeah, but you don't have a quota. You never say, let's bring such and such racial group up to which i say but race is an artificial construct like there's no like i don't i also don't say let's bring a red red haired person up but the the w- w- you know there's a biological distinction and uh women are not up here all night <laughs> like I, I'm 42, I, I can only get so fucking progressive. I mean, and I'm like, like my my 30 year old wife is revealing to me that I'm Archie Bunker. Still, still, I'm Archie I, Bunker. I agree that bringing up a uh, a female to play Aaron's character is a a progressive thing because it's good. <laughs> I think I phrased that really badly. <laughs> because um, it's good, it's progressive is no, your logic. No, I, I think so, yeah. I think okay, just I, I'm really bad at this, so I'm just going to try to say it. We, if, 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 are, we, are we bringing somebody else up to play Shadowrun for, for 12 minutes? Yes. Then, it's, then we get to pick whether we bring up a male or a female person. Let's, let's just, uh, should we flip a coin? Yeah. Let's just, well, I mean, why don't we bring up a female but not for Aaron's character specifically? <laughs> We could just always get females for all of the shadow run, and then you females. know, right? Well, I don't. Just so you know, I don't think that's her beef. I'm just. It saying. has nothing it's to do with whether you're playing your character. It's it's it's, it's voicing it. That's the issue. Well, I think it. we need uh, more females. So even if it is awkward asking for them. I think it's a bullet we should take. Would a woman like to play that, uh, any character in Shadowrun right better. now? After all of that horrible bullshit. Thank you. See, yeah, see no, no women are even volunteering themselves right now. Cause, uh, oh, we have one. Oh, we got one. We have one brave soul there. Awesome. What's your name, man? Awesome. She'll take that government cheese. Yeah. What's your name? Heather. Wait, we... Isn't she the seamstress? He- Heather had the thread that sewed the button on the uh, jacket. Okay. Awesome. The jack war. Hello, Heather. Hello. I like your seersucker shirt. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's just from Target. I dig it. By the way, I wasn't stopping the show because it was an actual problem. I was stopping the show because I thought that was an, it's a, uh, that's a conversation point that I'm confused about that needs to be addressed. That doesn't need to be solved. It's well, just I, something interesting to talk about. I think there, there could be more women in our show earlier and more often than, than just bringing one on at the end of our show. As, as, as a, Let's as a, not like, get as carried a... away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where this goes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can see where she's coming from in the sense that it seems tacked on to say, oh, we've, it's been all 17 guys up on stage. Let's bring a woman out for 10 seconds. And she says three lines of dialogue and shatter. Right? Yeah, it's a big, you know, it's a big shame when you have to, when you have to go out of your way to, like, proactively, like, like homogenize and stuff. But also, like, that's a fu- they, like, until writing, writing staffs were told that they had to, like, you know, it, it you have to be proactive about shit, and then the system changes. But I, I, the the show when there's half women out there in the audience, which there aren't, you know, like the, the there will there will eventually be, you know, a woman will take Spencer's place. Yay! Like Hooray. Spencer will take my place. Yay! I'll go over where Jeff's sitting. Oh. Jeff will Jeff will drive the women to and from the show. I'll, I'll sign up for that. From the show. From the show. Behind that. <laughs> All right, so who, uh, who, who you, you don't have to say Mercy O'Donnell, Heather. Who would you like to play? If you could pick any of these other characters, because you could play any one. You could play Dr. Oh, Friend. I'd like to play Dr. Friend. All oh, right. Okay. Heather All right. is going to play Dr. Friend. <laughs> Skyler. I get to pick? Yeah, from the remaining ones. I, r- I really do love Mercy. I, th- I think she's a fantastic character. The okay, show is so progressive. Skylar is Mercy. I guess D- Darsan, is that, does that leave you Hortigard maybe? Or That's no? racist. Like That's no. racist. <laughs> <laughs> we like, tried to get one the thing Shatteron right. I'm still like new to this. So what, like, what is the Black this? guy's always going to play the German psychic. <laughs> How about this? I'll, I'll play Hortigard and you play Eve Libertine, Darsan. How about that? Um, uh, I'm just going to go with the, I have no idea what's going on. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you, you guys want to hear a joke that I think is actually only funny if it's a black guy in the year 2075? Yes. <laughs> a black guy goes to a cybernetic uh, upgrade shop, and uh, the guy comes out and says, Excuse me, sir, are you looking for a psionic uh, chip to help you uh, help focus your, your latent psychic powers that were awakened uh, in the uh, Great Awakening of 2054? <laughs> And the, and the black guy says, well, no, I'm thinking about pussy. Still funny, even in the future. 
And, and then he hovers away. <laughs> Progressive. Can, can I? Can I? Can I plug my LARP? <laughs> What's that? Can I plug my LARP? Oh yeah, plug your LARP, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Skyler. Well, I realized I just said a bunch of stuff about it, and a lot of the people that play like listen to the podcast. Plug your LARP, baby. Plug right. it. So it's called Dystopia Rising. You can look up dystopiarising.com. I can I come and be Google. one of the zombies that dies when people throw bird seed at? Yes. You think you guys can figure right. that out. There is a game here in L.A. Uh, it's the top played one. at a Ren Faire. How do you hire those people that come out and just get bird seed and throw oh, it at them? so everybody uh, volunteers. It should be the top oh. So every I time you come to an event, you, you do a yeah. four-hour shift as an give NPC. Yeah. So you, you do a four-hour shift no, of being a zombie. And then everyone kind of takes turn at that. So we'll have Sorry. like a hundred and fifty person game, and then uh, from there, uh, people will come in shifts and be zombies. Because that's what people picked. I'm sorry. We're having a side conversation. You're trying to plug your LARP. I'm yeah. being really so it's disrespectful. Called, it's called Dystopia Rising. There are thirteen <laughs> chapters across the U.S. right now, and it's yeah. growing pretty quickly. Uh, you can probably find there's a lot on the East Coast, yeah. but there's uh, one up in Washington, which is where I'm from, and then also in Oregon, and then there's one here, and then there's one in Indiana, Indiana and Texas, and yeah, they're all over. So. The one in Indiana is really the best. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. It yeah. was it, this, this past weekend. I don't know how you knew that. You know, it'd be exciting. Uh, like the, the the combat part actually makes me kind of anxious, but uh, like the idea of going out and like going to a big thing where you. Like it's like game on, and then you have to be your character, and then you're just walking around like, "Hello, my name's Lord Fingleberry." One of one of the best. So a lot like, of I, I could do that for, a, for well forever. Really, a lot of la- a lot of LARPs, I hate myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, I, Skyler's. A, a, a lot of LARPs are built around combat, and we call them stick jocks. So they're guys that just like to hit each other with swords, right? Right. So the reason this game is so amazing is because you stay in character from Friday to Sunday. Nice. Um, all night. You sleep in character. Your door can get kicked in and zombies can fucking murder you. Um, so, <laughs> so what if your character has night terrors? I, I know characters with sleep apnea. We have a medical oh, tent. shit. We have a medical tent. Um, so... The thing that's great is the whole universe is dystopian. <laughs> you know, you know, players with sleep apnea. Yes, all their characters are possessed by demons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, the power! <laughs> that that would be a serious larper who didn't really have sleep apnea, but his character did. <laughs> you got a sleeping character. <laughs> um, but uh, where was I going? Okay, so this game has production. So there are people that don't fight. Uh, there are people that Ooh. just produce. They build things, and they, they, they like there's engineers. farmers, there's engineers, there's tinkers. They build guns and swords and upgrade armor and stuff like that. Are there people that just hang out and drink? There are totally people. <laughs> so we call them, uh, technically Drinkers. they're murder hobos. They don't have jobs. They don't produce anything. They just hit stuff, and they, they just drink yeah. and are idiots. Oh, uh, well, yeah, not like that. Not oh. Like the, oh, not, just yeah. hang out? There's totally people. No, but I, I don't mean like, yeah, like a fratty guy crashing the thing. I mean like, like could, could you be like a barkeep? Or, yes, totally. Know, like, there uh, are multiple bars yeah. across the U.S. Or like a bard just in the bar? Yes, there's a, a profession called entertainer where you just play an instrument. Dan, do you want to go do it? Do stand-up comedy. I, I or, mean, I yeah, uh, I need to do it. F- I need a free it. weekend. I want to do that, and I want to go inner tubing, which uh, Aaron's doing. Do- <laughs> so that was the that's original. That's doing right now. She's floating down a river. I it's the best. Right now, the only way I yeah. can. It's the middle of the night. Well, I don't. Not in St. Louis. Yeah. No. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next, I next bluffed. Time, I don't know. What the time next it is. time you come up north to like Seattle, Portland area, if if you want to coordinate, I can get you uh, and have that way. I can control how good of an experience it is. I can't. I don't. I wouldn't be able to send you to another place. Skyler, mm-hmm. I got to warn you. Dan's a bit of a stick jock. <laughs> <laughs> we we take all kinds. <laughs> we're we're a very accepting community. We have thirty seconds to play Shadowrun. <laughs> Uh, well, to keep in mind, the show starts at 8.20. So. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, uh, Spencer, do you have a, a guest recapper for us? Uh, not today. Let me just uh, wing it terribly. All right, here we are. <laughs> Last time on Shadowrun, our heroes found themselves in a tear gas-filled hospital bed. But they... Uh, they got out of there pretty quick. Donning the disguises of downed security guards, they scuttled down an elevator and passed a nosy receptionist into a secret underground area. There they found Baldwin Brown's former office, and with it, the research data they were meant to retrieve. But before they could retrieve it, Baldwin Brown himself hailed our adventurers. They're not adventurers in this game. 
Uh, Shadow Runners over the comm link asking to return his research to him. The gang studied the request before declining. But as they were leaving, they heard the snick of blades. Jesse Yellowman was here to collect on his employer's collection. I said it was terrible. Uh, I'm not looking for that. Now, real, uh, Nightblade and, and, and team, uh, why did we say no to Baldwin Brown who wanted his stuff back? Because we're terrible people. Well, we didn't. I mean, we didn't say no. We said we'll think about it. We got to do a job. And real quick, uh, remind me who Jesse Jesse Elliman is. Whom is who? He's uh he's he's the young ward of Baldwin Brown. Ah. He's got blades coming up out of his knuckles. And he wants uh, Baldwin Brown's research for himself. Well, he was he was he's like, hey, I'm he, I'm gonna pick it up, pick up the research, the easy way or the hard way. Uh, well, kid, uh, you know. The hard way might be the easier way for us, you know, and the easy way may be harder for you than you think. Huh. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, I'm not a mathematician, but there's like a thousand of us. You sure aren't. Yeah. I cast a level, I cast level five stun ball on him. All right, level five. Okay. <laughs> you take... Three drain, you go unconscious as you Jesus. unleash a stun ball. It wings him in the face. Jeez, that wasn't worth it. He looks, he looks dazed, as if he's been dazed, but you are unconscious from the strain of repeated spell casting. I, sh I should have asked what my drain was before I did that. Yep. All right, kid, kid, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Somebody heal me? Yeah, man. We didn't say we weren't going to... I already took out one of your guys. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's not fair. <laughs> We didn't say we weren't going to uh, work with your guy, but you you can't, you know, if you're going to fight us, we're going to fight you. Oh, sorry. Okay. I just, what, what, well, I gotta, what's happening right now? What's happening is we got the files. We got to get the fuck out of this place. Fighting each other isn't going to, it's not a good idea. Maybe you should have said that before your friend started fighting at me. M I think I think she just fell on the ground. How much are they paying you? Uh, they're not paying me nothing. I do it for the love of the job. That's unfortunate. Well, then I'll double your price to help us get out of this building, and then we can f fight in the street. Well, I really need this research. We can't let it get out of my hand. You should you should pick her up and carry her out of here. <laughs> I can do that. I'm a troll. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. You easily heft her up on your shoulder. Yes. He's supposed to have Jeff's folder, right? I uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! I, I was playing the wrong character. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you said you were like, I'm going to play Demorsh. <laughs> I, I'm Hordegard. I forgot. Yeah. I, I don't cast a spell. I, I, right. I, I said it. No no one's unconscious. No one's unconscious. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't cast a spell. I, uh... <laughs> Is it uh, possible that I maybe uh, look at a uh, thing and uh, perhaps uh, maybe French fries? Wait, where the fuck is Demorge? He Wait, is Demorge here. Is, here. <laughs> is Demorge here? <laughs> Demorge was in the green room. Demorge, get out of here. Fucking. <laughs> well, then we got to kick someone out. No, no. He, he, he can play himself. I'll just sit here. <laughs> Demorge Brown, What? <laughs> you know, it's it's okay, Dan. You know, it, I, I, I was thinking at that time that we were in uh, Edinburgh and uh, <laughs> I was going up with Nipsey Russell and his friends, and you were uh, you were caught up in a melee of some sort. All right, sorry. All right, so let's go. I'm sorry I forgot you were here. No we, worries, man. Right. It's not my game. Okay, so where were we? We're gonna get the fuck out of here. Yeah, here we go. No one's unconscious. Who's oh, no one's unconscious? Are we do, we're doing a do-over on that? Yeah, because yeah, he was controlling the wrong character. <laughs> all right, so here we all go. B blade, blade, hand guy, and everybody. Where are we going? We're leaving. Where? In an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to go upstairs first, past all these dead bodies. You've killed people? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really. This was more of a, a hit and run sort of thing. Not hey, really. Hey, hack guy. Uh, 
Yes, I'm uh, on the comm link. Uh, did this guy set off a bunch of alarms when he murdered all of these guards to get down here? No, he's a real pro. <laughs> That's excellent. Thank you. But they will find the bodies and soon. Fuck. In a soon amount of time. All right, well, so, let's go. And so, everyone stop asking how. It's obviously the way we came. The way, the, wait, <laughs> why do you keep asking that? The way we came. We leave. We leave the way we came. Back out past the lady, <laughs> into the elevators, back up, and out the exit. Hodegar takes the lead, uh, using his combat sense and all of his sensibilities, leads them through uh, to the front. Uh, up the stairs, around a couple floors, and to uh, the front. Stepping over the bodies. Uh, if you follow his actions, perhaps you will get there uh, <laughs> safely, as, as, as will I. I follow him. Following closely, you dodge the detection of guards with the combat senses of Hortigard. You end up in the front hallway, but there you hear a voice behind you. Stop! Stop you! Turning around, you see 17 guards. They're a good 60 feet off. It's a long, long hallway. You, you made pretty good time, considering. It's all right. I'm a guard. No. What? I'm dressed, I'm dressed as a guard. I'm a guard. Can I make a force wall? Uh, yeah. How strong of a force wall do you want to make? From one to six. Five. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a good number. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Drawing upon your troll magic, you conjure up a shield of shimmering energy. It stretches across the entire hallway, coating it in light and force energy. <laughs> now we can run. And using my city sense, I have a sense that the Uber is how far away? <laughs> you can sense an Uber just two blocks away. <laughs> Uh, this technology is really, uh, really good. It's a skill soft. <laughs> if you were addicted to them as I am, you would apply them and use them to their be best benefit. Hey, I'm not really a guard, you fuck faces. <laughs> <laughs> we're behind a force field. I'm just wearing guard clothes. <laughs> Podegard leads the gang outside. Uh, 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 those that will follow, those that want to talk trash, well, you know. <laughs> You guys go. I'm, 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 I'm just leaving last, walking backwards, my arms spread like a cocky seagull, can I talking use, shit. Can I, I assure them, I assure them that everything is okay. This is common. He uh, often uses the monologue defense uh, to, pro to, to protect his people. <laughs> Who are you saying that to? Uh, to the rest of the gang that okay. is following. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I wasn't a guard. <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't tempt fate and just, just get well, in the Well, go. Ubers. Just go. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm walking out backwards and talking shit. Yeah. Yeah, you are. By the way, I didn't kill all those people. <laughs> the door is uh, closing. Is everyone in? Is everyone in? Everyone's in the Uber, including Jesse. Solid. Sweet. And uh, we motor off. Where are we going? To our secret clubhouse. <laughs> well, who who wants these files that we that we got? I do. Two well, two people. But we don't want to give them to you, right? Well, I hope you do, because <laughs> otherwise we should have fought back there. We're gonna. <laughs> well, I think it's easier to fight now that we're in the car. No, no, I don't think no, it's easy not, to fight in, that car. fight in the car. We're gonna fight no, in a place where we can fight, where we or, or or discuss, you know, civilly or whatever, free of intervention. Let's so, go. Let's go to my apartment. <laughs> Shit. Shay <Shea> Nightblade. <laughs> you, <laughs> uh, All right. You can come link a map to that uh, section to me, or you can just give me your address. Quip, quip, quip. Uh, done. <laughs> so be it. Yeah, I'm, uh, Allow I'm, it. I'm All those great opening places. myself up a lot to you guys by uh, inviting you to this place. I'm a very <laughs> private person. This is like a big deal for me. You roll up to your apartment. If I recall correctly, it's not that nice. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I uh, tip the doorman a few <laughs> new yen. 
<laughs> we get in the get in the neo elevator and uh, <laughs> head up to the laser apartment. It's uh, not that nice. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. the uh, robot made the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hodegaard uses his uh, perception of truth uh, just to determine if there ever was a robot. <laughs> <laughs> there ne- no, no. <laughs> mm. As I suspected. Guy like me has got to keep a low profile, have a lot of identities. This is just one of them. Do you, uh, do you know your neighbors? <laughs> no, and they don't know me. That's why we're here. This is where we'll never be found. <laughs> we can have a, a conversation. Anybody want space space drinks? Future drinks? Future drinks? I will take you some space drinks. Space drinks? Future drinks? Is it, uh, do you happen to have Sputnik 1? All right. <laughs> you got it? Uh, Sputnik 1. Sputnik 1. <laughs> the, the, drink, the drink-o-matic. Uh, <laughs> hi- hydrate level 4, please. <laughs> I should have made a pizza. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's your drinks. So now. Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> so, Billy Baldwin. What's his name? Baldwin Brown. No, I thought we had Jesse, uh, what's his name with us? Jesse, Jesse Yellowman. Yellowman. Jesse Yellowman. Yeah, but, but Baldwin Brown is in captivity and yep. s- sent his compatriot here to kill everybody and get Wait, the... Jesse, you work for Baldwin? Oh, yeah, we go way back. He was my old teacher. So you, Baldwin was saying that the uh, repercussions of us doing our job, which we were contracted to do, were, uh, you know, uh, uh, cataclysmic, shall we say? <laughs> you want to go into more detail about that? Yeah, man. Yeah. I could do that. I mean, I can't. I don't know what his research was. I just trust that it was really important. If he says bad shit's going to go down... I'd, I'd trust him. Jesse, is it, is it possible that um, if we were willing to give you this information, the, the stuff that we stole with our skills, um, that you would maybe owe us a favor? Yeah. No, I mean, no doubt. Look at this. Knuckles, they shoot laser blades. Razor blades. <laughs> Not laser blades. Important distinction. Laser razor blades. Laser, laser razor blades would have been way cooler. I know. You're telling me. <laughs> One of these days... I'll be able to afford them. Right now, razor blades. How much would those cost? Oh, you know, 20 thou, 30, easy. Well, the situation we're in is we took a job, you know, and if we don't do it, then they're going to be after us forever. So, I don't know. How do you are know they, they, they aren't come, are already? Are they going to come after I mean, us or are they just going to not pay us? They're going to not pay us and they're going to be suspicious if this shit ends up in the wrong hands. I mean, you know, our, They're going to yeah. think that we did what we did. Our crew isn't known for failing jobs, so <laughs> I understand our reputation is pretty high. But S- Sarcasm. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I think that Jesse and Baldwin as allies might be better than just some creds for the risk that we went through. Well, I'm I mean, sorry, Nguyen. New, 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 I mean, we're shadow runners, you know? We shadow run. Sometimes runs fail, man. But if we just go with these guys, and what, then the next time someone goes, I want you to hire you for a shadow run, hey, this isn't going to be one of those ones where you just decide in the middle of it that it's like a meta shadow run and you're going to bail on it. <laughs> we're going to go, no, no, we promise this time we really... <laughs> it would take like a whole big thing for that to happen, like someone asking us, please don't do the shadow run, then we'd have to... Then we'd stop doing it, but assuming that doesn't happen, we promise we'll do your what, shadow what run. What if we concocted an elaborate plan or scheme that, that would make it seem that we didn't do this intentionally, that, that they just hijacked this information from us, and, I mean, and we yeah. would know that we were, we were being allies with them, but the rest of the world would think that we were just the victims of, of their... I, I think Dr. Friend's onto something. I, I think we, we are in a safe, secure location. God damn it! <laughs> I knock a bunch of stuff off the counter. Whoa. But it Monologue was all alert. T- you guys aren't hearing what I'm saying. I fell down to the shadows from the heights of the society. I go to the shadow runs because I gave up on that world. If, 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 if they want me back, they got to tell me why. What's at stake? What's going on? I want to know what's going on. I'm tired of these word games and puzzles and riddles. Your double talk and your smart talk. 
I'm just a big dumb shadow runner. I want to know what's happening. What's with these BTL chips? Talk. BTL chips are just drugs, man. They fuck up your brain. Yeah, so what? So this research, I don't know. It might be able to help people. Can we call Baldwin? We need answers. Uh, yeah, I got his idea. number. We'll put him up on a hologram or something. <laughs> All right. So it's visually interesting. <laughs> well, oh, let me let me can, dial him up. Right. Beep boop beep beep beep. Should we just kill this guy? <laughs> <laughs> he seems kind of he seems kind of badass. It's Baldwin. I kind of like him. Hello. Hey, what's up? So, uh, how did you guys get my number? We're, uh, we're with Pink, Pink Jesse Pinkman. Oh, cool. <laughs> Wait, we're, who's that? We're with Jesse. Jesse, Jesse oh. Yellow. Jesse oh. Yellow. Okay. We're so, trying to we're trying to work out a deal, but we need more information. Uh huh. We want to know. God damn it! We want to know what's going on. Look, like, what, like what's the worst thing that's going to happen if we if we don't give you your stuff? Uh, just world domination, but not by us. Bad people domination. That so, sounds pretty bad. It sounds like standing operating pr- procedure. Yeah, look out the window, Jack. The bad guys won. <laughs> So you're saying our Johnson's going to use this information, your, your research, to take over the world? Yeah, I mean, not just take it over. Really murder it. So no. the, the, the uh, uh, original price uh, you were offering us for this, uh, this reversal was what? Oh, I mean, I don't have any money. They don't really pay me, but exactly. I will owe you two, three, three. Of, of what? <laughs> Universes? You know how people owe you one? <laughs> Uh, I'll owe you three. Understood. That's that's pretty good. That I, be I believe solid. those yeah. those work in powers as well. Yeah. So we each can, one is actually yeah. better. Yeah, uh, I would like to. Uh, it's uh, like a to genie. Place uh, the hologram on mute. The muting the hologram. Hodegard is putting it on mute. Okay. Uh, and on blind, so that he cannot <laughs> see my Very lips smart. moving. Smart move. So that he cannot see my lips moving. Hey, it is my contention that, um, look, uh, we were hired to acquire certain properties. We uh, applied ourselves to uh, the acquisition of such properties. Uh, we were given assistance uh, in for to assist in the uh, acquisition of such properties. We acquired such properties, and it has become complicated, and every route out of this otherwise becomes infinitely and infinitely more complicated. The simplest route, the truest route, the route that is most r- shadowy of the running routes <laughs> is to uh, complete it and deliver said properties and say completion of the deal, take our uh, uh, remuneration and uh, move from there to the next job. Like All right, Occ- Occam's route. Ho- Occam's route. Hordegard, Ho- 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 uh, I agree with you. Um, but it comes a however alert. <laughs> <laughs> however, I believe this is a turning point as us as runners to d- decide our, where we stand morally. God if damn it, the reason they hire us is t- so that we don't have moral turning points. But we have a choice. We see the consequences of our actions. That's that would make us chefs, like not shadow runners. <laughs> We're supposed to shadow run. I, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. You know when what? I this was is a my child, button. Man, child, man, little boy, man. My mentor was uh, shot in the street in front of me. I spent many of my days not around you guys, suspending myself above, above a bottle of water and using uh, uh, the vapor between me to draw uh, truths. So I'm not so much concerned with your moral, your morality. This sort of world does not have that sort of morality. It doesn't list, live in a planar existence. It has several dimensions and twists and turns, and we are learning every day. I so a lunge and stun baton, Jesse the Yellowman. <laughs> All right. Then, then I guess I'm just a face. <laughs> A very sad one. Uh, Using robot reflexes, he dodges to the side. Fuck! (laughs) That was a massager. Is is Hacker? Yeah. Yeah. I just tried to stun him. He disarms you. He disarms me. Now I got the stun baton, bitch. Cliffhanger! (laughs) God in heaven. Let's thank Heather, everybody. Skyler, Darsan. Marge Brown, Spencer Crittenden, I'm Jeff Davis, your mayor, Dan Harmon, everybody. This show brought to you by the Apple Watch. Thank you for coming. We went a little bit late, but we do serve breakfast. Breakfast will be outside in the uh, Meltdown Comics Lounge.
Did you get any of that? It's a good show.